All right, so we are starting up day six today. I'm gonna go out here and look at our precious Finnegan there. I did indeed name our floppy-eared dog after my boy. <laughs> We're gonna go over here and check on our cow, Bessie. Our friends in chat named uh, Bessie. And she is a good girl. She's doing fine. I'm gonna give her some snuggles. I'm going to get my brush. We're gonna use that on Bessie. She's a little hungry. Yeah, I'm glad that you're getting some food, baby girl. Oh, 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 Bessie, you you don't Oh, she's she's busy eating right now. She's like, don't oh. I was thinking she just didn't want um to be milked because um she was getting some food. Maybe it's been it's too close from when I milked her last night. Maybe that's what it is. I'm just like making her more upset right now. So sorry, Bessie. All right, I'm gonna take another one of those because I always like to keep this filled up. We'll put that in. I think we're gonna let Bessie outside. It's a very nice day. Haven't experienced any rainy days yet in the game, but we'll see when that happens. And let's go over here and check out our, our garden so far. So here I have some fruit trees growing, or apple trees. Um, the farthest along. It is giving me the prompt to shake it, but I don't see any apples on it yet. I, so I'd be hesitant to shake it since it's still growing. Let's put that herb away. And oh my gosh, we're starting to see some tomatoes here. There's some green tomatoes though, so I don't think they're quite ready yet. Although, um, here where I'm from, uh, green tomatoes are quite popular. Like a lot of like restaurants will have like like fried green tomato sandwiches and stuff like that. <laughs> or like a fried green tomato on a burger, or that kind of deal. Oh, need a little bit more water. I think our field here has like a little bit of water still. I don't think it's completely dried out. Mm, maybe it was, hard to say. But all of these like vines that we have planted are watermelons. And I planted a lot of watermelons because I I think that I'm hoping that they'll be like the most profitable because their seeds were the most expensive, if I remember right. Mm, so it would be cute if she had a little bowler hat. Oh man, that would be the greatest. <laughs> That's like with um with the Finnegan postcard that Momo drew for our uh, the Trevor Project uh, charity fundraising. Uh, I think she drew him with like a bowler hat. No, it wasn't a bowler hat. It was a like a, a um, what would you call it? Um, oh, I'm blanking on the name of the hat, but it's the one that all like the dapper like Scottish boys wear, and I dig it. I felt like it fit very well with uh, my uh, my boy Finnegan's Celtic name. <laughs> it would be, but she doesn't. She doesn't like hats. I mean, like to be fair, I don't know any like real dog that likes wearing hats. So thank goodness we can put hats on them in drawings and video games and that kind of stuff. Speaking of dogs and hats, um, I really, really want to play. Um, uh, Little Friends Puppy Island, which coincidentally came out the exact same day as, as this one, which was yesterday. Um, and I was just so bummed about that because I was like, oh, I really want to play that game too, but you know, I can't play both. <laughs> Could barely afford this game. Um, so yeah, um, but you know, time, time is, a, you know, a, a very big thing as well. So yeah, I would love to be able to play that game at some point. Maybe after we finish up this game, we'll be able to um, play it on Stream Stram. So I was kind of like calculating it out in my head. Um, so for anybody who is not familiar with the original Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life that came out 20 years ago, um, so far, this remake has been really uh, true to the original game and very in line with it. Um, but with the original game, it was very different from like any other uh, 
Harvest Moon game, uh, farming sims in general, um, in that, like, you kind of have like a set amount of years like you don't really like play forever like you know or as long as you want to like with you know uh, stardew valley or you know other farming sims um it's kind of focused on a, a set period of time over six years and you get to see your character um and the 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 children and the townsfolk um age up during that time which is a really unique concept but uh, but anyway, I was I was kind of calculating it out in my head, and I was like, okay, if we play like the full, like six in-game years, how many like streams would that probably be around? And if we made the same amount of progress that we did yesterday, it would be around like forty-eight streams. Um, and I was like, okay, so like when would we finish that up? And like I imagine that we'd probably finish it up around like early September <laughs> um so and at the end of September we have the my time at Sandrock full release and I want to start up a new playthrough when that happens so maybe we can do some puppy island in between there possibly possibly so it's gonna be hard to wait that long though the meal your kindness gave me was very delicious yes very I hope you'll have more meals to give your friend Pooey I think I gave him like a fish or something. I don't remember. I don't think I gave him like a meal, but I have no, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to give him that. I was just like holding it up and he, he was like, oh, you're trying to give that to me. See, I didn't even like press any prompts for it. I don't think I have any gifts for him right now. Sorry, Pooey. But we'll go over here to the tree. We'll eat the weird mushrooms. Always eat the weird mushrooms. And I'll say hello to some sprites. Want to learn a new recipe? Absolutely. We learn potamello salad, P potato, and mel melon. I hope not. I hope I hope that isn't what it is. <laughs> that that sounds like an interesting combination. Daryl, nice to see you, man. How's it going? Hope that Wednesday is treating you well, my dude. Uh, Dodo loves hats. Wait, Dodo loves hats. They are very tasty. No, Dodo. This is not what we do with hats. <laughs> Hi, Nami. I see you're a morning person. Was it that obvious? Everyone's in such a good mood when spring rolls around, but I don't get it. What's there to be excited about? I need to figure out what I can give Nami for a gift. Maybe we can do like some more fishing today. Try out some other fishing spots potentially. But so far I've like fished here at the bridge. I've fished at the beach down there. I wonder if I could get like some unique fish by, um, by like uh, fishing like up at the waterfall. I'm heading up toward the waterfall right now, but it's not to, not to fish at least right now. Um, it is to do some mining with Carter and Flora. And Ruby, nice to see you. I hope that you're having a good day. Here to tell you, uh, I refuse to eat a uh, milk soup. Why not just call it cereal? Cause like there's, there's no, there's no cereal. There's no like wheat in there. It's just, it's just milk <laughs> in a cup. <laughs> Cause that's like the only recipe I can make right now. Greetings, Wade. How are things? Ah, Wade, just the person I hope to see. Do you have some time to help us at the dig site? Absolutely. So we found like a crystal um, yesterday when we played. And I really want to see like how much that would sell for. I like could have it home, honestly, but I completely forgot to. Can I dig in that spot right there? There we go. Mm, 48 streams, let's go. After today, it'll be around like 46. And granted, you know, there'll probably be like, you know, um, days where I make even more progress than I did yesterday. Like, to be fair, like with yesterday, like I started later because the game didn't come out until later um, on Steam. And there was like a lot of like introductory stuff that we had to get through. So I'd imagine we, we might make it into summer um on today's stream 
so yeah probably probably fewer than that but i was just kind of like okay like what's like the most like rather overestimate it than like underestimate it type deal did we give uh, nami a fish yesterday maybe we did looks like there's something here if i keep digging Doing well, good. Just looking at Pe Pepsi ketchup. Wait, so Daryl, is this something that like you saw like in the store or? Ooh, what is this? Found something peculiar. Ooh, maybe this is something that will turn into Carter. I've never found that before. Okay, all right. I think we'll um, talk to him because I'm really not finding a whole lot today. Finish digging for the day? I think so for now. I see. Very well then. Shall we head outside? I don't know why we need to go over our findings outside, but maybe just so he has some better light. I guess that makes sense. Another productive day of digging for you, I hope. Allow me to examine what you find. Or what you found. Hmm. There doesn't appear to be anything of archaeological significance, I'm afraid. Um, sir, have you ever seen this in your life? <laughs> He's just like the whole time got his eyes closed. Yep, no, I don't see anything here. <laughs> he literally had his eyes closed. <laughs> Feel free to take today's findings home with you. Fine, more money for me. That's all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. I guess we're getting free stuff, so like I can't complain. <laughs> if he doesn't want it, one man's trash is another woman's treasure. So um, why am I already tired? It's only 2 p.m. That's, that's a mood though. That is like me, IRL. <laughs> um, so today is the 6th on the 8th van will come to town and we can try to sell our archaeological findings to him i think if you remember correctly nami likes uh fossils oh oh yeah maybe i wish that like there was like a list in so in this like um farming or not farming tab friendship tab here I wish that there was like a, a way that you could like click on each of these character tabs. Like there's literally nothing that I can do to click on this. Like what you see is what you get. But I wish that there was like a way that you could click on them and see like what gifts you've given them in the past and um, if they liked it or not, just to kind of keep track. Cause I, I can't remember. There's like so many people in this game. Another reason that I love uh, my time at Portion, my time at Sandrock, because that game does keep track of those things for you in addition to having like the slow down time feature, which is so nice, so nice. If you haven't played those games, definitely get them on the summer steam sale, which is starting up tomorrow. I hear that it's starting up at, is there something over here? I hear that it's starting up um, at like 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Look at these little mushrooms here. You know what, they're the same color as, um, our sprite friends in in the tree. I feel like this is like a little like Easter egg here, but I don't know if there's anything that I can do with it. I wonder if those mushrooms were in the in the first game. They probably were. Taking all the flowers. Just like picking so many flowers, like more than I can even give away fast enough. So we'll probably more than likely end up selling some of these to Van too. Cause I really need to, um, I really need to get like some other animals and stuff. Right now we only have Bessie. I'd really like to, to get some more critters. I think that would be nice. Oh, and um, we need to give out some gifts today too. So let's, uh, let's go over here to best girl Cecilia. And uh, Cecilia, she does like flowers, so we have 30 goddess drop flowers now. Goodness gracious. Hi, Cecilia. <laughs> Her laugh is so precious. 
It's a new Pepsi product apparently releasing on July 4th. Oh, just in time for good old Independence Day. Uh, can you imagine people grilling out, making some, some burgers and hot dogs, and they're like, uh, yeah, man, would you like some, some, some pe Pepsi ketchup on that, on that dog? <laughs> who asked for this and who hurt them? <laughs> oh. I don't know if I'll get more friendship points for like just like talking to her for the day, but I've been I've been doing that just in case. I do not have any monies to buy anything from you, Celia. So sorry, but I love you. Also, hi Vesta, nice hi. to see you. Vesta's so nice. I love her. And Vesta also thankfully likes flowers, so we'll give one to her too. Mm. Okay, and I wonder if Matthew is in either of these buildings. It's getting like hard, like getting used to calling him Matthew, because in the first game he was Marlin, and he looked a lot different uh, in the first game too. He had this like really like wild, like like kind of like like spiky like curly kinky black hair i don't even know like how to describe it it was just kind of one of those things it's like what were you guys thinking <laughs> it was like kind of like one of those like over stylized over exaggerated like anime characters type deal oh i didn't mean to give him a flower he doesn't like that um but it's like definitely not like okay so i say definitely not like a, a very good hairstyle for like a romanceable character in a game. But to be fair, the first game, you could just be a guy and you couldn't romance the dude. So like he wasn't, when his character was created, he wasn't intended to be romanceable oh. until the second game out uh, or the, um, the, the girl edition, Another Wonderful Life came out. Why, hello there. This time of year always reminds me of when my f husband and I first moved here. I just love Nina. Oh. And Nina likes flowers, so we'll definitely give one to her as she's in the bush right now. <laughs> Nina, where did you go? <laughs> Are you hiding? <laughs> Guys, do you know what happened to Nina? Where is she? Oh, this is for you. Oh. Why, thank you. No worries, Nina. Don't mention it. Love her. Love her. Okay. All right. Um, let's. I wouldn't imagine that we have any new requests on the bulletin board, but let's check and see. Oh, we do have some new ones. Okay. So maybe they add in new requests every like five days. Seems like it. Gavin totally forgot we were running out of milk and now we don't have any. Can anyone spare some extra? Yeah. Milk any um, B rank. I have that. She would give me tomato seeds, though. I don't know if uh, I'll have enough time to grow those since today's day six of the season. We'll see. Are fish happy when we eat them? <laughs> I'll let you decide that one, Rock. Only one way to find out. One fresh fish, please. Fish any. He'll give us some aromatic herbs in an exchange. Um, I don't really need any more aromatic herbs, but like also I, we might get some friendship points from him for doing it. So yeah, um, there's Molly. We can go ahead and turn in the something to her. I'm already forgetting. Uh, let's chat with her first though. <sighs> well, hello, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad it's finally warming up. I feel alive. I love her sachet as she's walking. Oh, she's so cute. Hear about your request, uh, which was milk. That's what it was. Luckily, she just wants one. Oh, and I need to um, milk Bessie when we get back home. Goodness, this is perfect. Thank you so much for going out of your way. Uh, it was no trouble, ma'am. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Hope you like it. Thanks for the tomates. Thanks again for all your help. Let's also give her a flower while she's here too. What a lovely flower. Is it for me? It sure is. Mm -hmm. Aw, you just made my day. Thank you. I'll put it in my room. 
Will she though? I still haven't been in the downstairs of the bar where like she lives. It's like every time I've been there, like no one, no one else has been there. Hi there. How's work going? Chris is very nice. All right. So let me look at those tomato seeds that I just got. We'll grow, oh, spring to autumn. Okay, that actually works out perfectly then because if we plant them now, um, we will still have um, plenty uh, growing for the coming seasons and stuff. Feels good, man, feels good. Okay, um, I do need to find Rock as well and give him that uh, Ziffish. But where is Rock? That's the question. I'm so glad it shows you like where people are on the map when you hover over it. That's so nice. <clears throat> oh gosh, I think it finally happened. I paid off my car. Ace, I'm so happy for you. That's a great accomplishment, friend. GG. Guys, can we get some more hype and chat for Ace if you didn't already? Wonderland, Tina, thank you guys for dropping that hype and chat for Ace. Much appreciated. I'm trying to talk to Daryl here. He was making it very difficult. Oh, hello. What do you want? Can you tell I'm postulating? I don't need your sunny disposition chasing away my brainstorm. <laughs> well, excuse me, pardon me, sir. <laughs> What's up, hi, Rock? Uh, let's chat first. Yo. The night is young, bud. Let's keep the party Yo. rolling. Ah, spring, the perfect season for everything. Wanna go chill out under the cherry blossoms sometime? Uh, maybe later. Um, for now, I am here to give you the fish. Let's give him... Hmm. I'm gonna give him a scad. There we go. I really don't know how much the fish sell for. I haven't tried that yet. Whoa, thanks a ton. The weight was killing me. I mean, I gave it to him like day of. <laughs> Whoops, your reward. It'd be way uncool to forget that after all you've done. Uh, I got it all ready for you right here. Oh yeah, he gave us some some herbs. If I need anything else, I know where to find you. Thanks again. No worries, man. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to my farm and we will milk Bessie. Cause I didn't, I couldn't do that earlier today. And we'll do, oh, I guess we'll do that, but we'll also do this, like not even facing her right now. So I don't know how this is working, but <laughs> thank you, Bessie. And then let's get our hoe so we can till, I think it was like five spots, right? Mm -hmm. Five spots. Boop, 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 boop. And one singular spot back there. That's really bugging me. I think we'll have enough stamina to water all of these. I think we should be good there. Why did they have to call him Rock? I keep mishearing it as, as Rob. <laughs> so Rock, uh, that was, um, that is one character that they kept the original name from the first game that came out uh, 20 years ago. Some of the characters they have renamed, like uh, Cecilia was just Celia back in the day. Um, Marlin was Matthew. Uh, I'm trying to think like who else. Um, Molly was Muffy. There's a few ones like that. Um, but yeah, Rock was the same. It'd be interesting to know like the the origin of his like his character name. I don't know if they just try to go with something that sounded similar to like their Japanese names or but they did go a little more in depth and, and talk about the reasoning for like the, the renamed characters with this this remake. So that was cool to, to read over and see. OK, all right. Got all of those planted. We do have a little bit of stamina, a little bit of time left in the day. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to um, go up to the waterfall and, and maybe see about trying to fish there since we haven't really done that yet. Stressing a little as now I have to figure out getting the, wait, getting the title and all that. Wait, you, you didn't have the title to the 
to the car before? How did that work? I... So that... That's not the... The norm, Rob? So I'm, I'm very curious what kind of situation, uh... Ace's car was in. <laughs> Come here, fishy fishy. Bring it home. Bring it to mama. What you got? A masu. Okay, so this is new. See, I think we can catch like different stuff from here at the waterfall. That's awesome. Let's see what else we can get. They called that one a lot faster. Like all the fishies could come in that fast. That'd be great. Another masu. Will it be all M masu? Masu? That we catch tonight? I say Masu. I feel like that would be more proper pronunciation, I would guess. How easy is it to fish in this game? Oh my gosh. I'd, I'd say easy to a fault. I mean, you literally click E to throw the line in, and then when you see the exclamation, you hit E again, and you're good. That's it. <laughs> and like for me, I, I would like a, an extra challenge to it, like an extra mini game. Um, I know like with the uh, Stardew Valley, for instance. Some people aren't crazy about the minigame there. I, I think it's a fun challenge. Um, we're like, um, I time at Porsche. I always found the fishing in that game pretty unique. Not as crazy about the fishing in Sandrock. A little Masu. I was kind of hoping we could find like a big ma Masu or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the title is also uh, in their name of the bank that I had the loan through. Oh, interesting. I can't remember, but I have to do some some stuff to look through. Hopefully, it won't be too much for you to uh, to do. Uh, that's great to know because I hate the fishing because of Stardew. Then I think you'll very much like it in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very very simplistic. Ooh, huge Masu. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm really curious as to like what those will sell for. All right, I'm gonna try to get home now before midnight, but I've gotta go around this river. So we'll see if I can. Still to this day, like the worst fishing I ever experienced in a game was uh, among trees. That game had so much potential and then they just like completely abandoned it. It was so sad. Um, otherwise, like I'd say like I'm really not crazy about the fishing and Animal Crossing either. Okay, before we sleep, let me like actually check this out. Okay, so I can't sell any of these things here. I guess I would have, or aside from my milk, I guess I would have to sell them to Van when he's in town here soon. But I think I can see the the values of them at least. So the coin is 40, leaf fossil is 50, large wakasaki, so fun to say, is 50. Um, one milk is 100. Honestly, I'm really surprised about that because we get like a lot of milk. Um, but what I've been doing is um, turning my milk into like the milky soup because I think with that you get like at least 200. So it like doubles the value of it, which is super nice. Huge wakasagi is 80. The clay figurine we found today is 60. Okay, maybe I can see why he didn't want it. Masu is 35. Hey, that moonlight ore we found is 100. That uh, little Masu is 25, and then the huge Masu is 90. All right, let's uh, go inside. Oh, got to sleep right before midnight. Feels good, man. I don't think there's like any down, maybe there is a downfall to not going to sleep before midnight. Maybe like a stamina loss, possibly. I think that's just like dependent on like the later you sleep, like the worse it gets. Look at our precious sleepy puppy in there. I love him. <laughs> oh no, I left out um, Bessie last night. I've never done that, done that overnight. I'm so sorry, Bessie. Are you doing okay today, baby girl? 
She's in a pretty good mood. Okay, maybe she likes sleeping under the stars. I'd have to do that more often. Precious Bessie, I just want to make sure you didn't get too cold. But I probably should avoid doing that in the future. Um, just in case like I wake up and it's like raining, that would be bad. All right, and let's use the milker on you too. There we go, awesome. So let's put that away and then go check on our crops. Look guys, we have tomatoes. Oh, oh. My first tomatoes. I was thinking that the vine would like maybe stay there and it would like um, keep growing. But no, they just like. I didn't mean to eat the tomato. No. <laughs> Did it do any auto saves? Is auto or auto? Okay, auto saves are not a thing in this game. I did not mean to eat the tomato. Gosh darn it. <laughs> well, okay, all right, we're one tomato down. Big sad. Crops, uh, seeds can be planted in the field here. I was wondering if something was still here because of like the leaves and you know the dark spot, but yeah, I, I guess not. I guess it's just showing where we um, grew something today. I'm so bummed that I did that, but at least we have um, like four more tomatoes, <laughs> and I think. Cecilia needed one for a, a task, for a quest. I'll have to check on that and see. I think I can check on it in my tab menu. Yeah, making tomato salad. Yeah, she just needs one tomato. We get five eggs in exchange, which will be fantastic because I don't have a chickie yet. Mm, don't forget to place Bessie back in the barn. <laughs> Wonderland, thank you for looking out for me. I would restart the day if it had done an autosave, but I didn't save last night before I went to bed. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of surprised that autosaving isn't a thing in this game, especially like when you sleep, I would expect that it would. Like I know we can like manually save now, like thank goodness for that, but Yeah, I think we'll just have to be one tomato down, sadly, sadly. Either way, the car should be mine now as the sole owner. So excited, you should be excited. And I'm super excited for you, friend. Okay, all right, everything's looking good now. So we'll put that away. We'll grab this herb over here. And look at our trees coming along. Oh man, I'm super excited for when we'll finally get some fruiting, hopefully soon, hopefully soon. You know, I've never looked at this like box uh, yet. Oh my gosh, I should have looked at the box though. A special delivery from the city. We got a Muku Muku outfit. <laughs> it went into our wardrobe. Oh, did I just get an achievement? Reach chapter one, beginnings. <laughs> Hang on, finally got it. <laughs> finally got an achievement. Hang on, what was that? Uh, started chapter one and got the nice to meet you nature sprites wonder. Oh, wonder discovered. Hey, hey, we found nice to meet you nature sprites, which means you reach chapter one beginnings. You found one of the wonders so far, awesome. What does that mean? I wonder. I found the wonder. You think it's talking about like those little mushrooms that I found the other day? Or maybe just that I found the sprites in general, like in the tree? We found round noses and floppy ears, which means you obtained one animal. You found two of the wonders so far. I need to like look at this thing more often. I didn't know that this would be here. Friendly Fisher. Obtain three types of fish. Three of the wonders so far. Hmm. I wonder what that means exactly. Interesting. Okay, so I have a new outfit now, apparently. Shall we go check it out? 
Let's also write in our journal. I, uh, yeah, feel to do that sooner. <laughs> mm, for Wednesday, today's a pretty good day. Glad to hear it, friend. Mm, it's a wonder you wonder about the wonder. Oh man, Rob, my brain is not awake enough for this, man. Change look, here we go. Okay, uh, boop, boop. My Muku Muku outfit. <laughs> I like like the furry hands and the uh and the boots. Let's uh let's wear that one for a little bit just to switch it up. <laughs> she looks very warm right now. I don't know if this would be very well suited for springtime, but yeah. I wonder if we'll get any like festivals in a uh, in this remake. Okay, all right. Oh, here's our puppy. We'll say hi to him. Finnegan has a fluffy tail, does he? You say so. Um, and then I think we can also do like some training with them. We can do some spins. There we go. <laughs> we can um, have him give up the paw and, and beg and then also jump. He's <laughs> so cute. Love him. All right. Okay. Um, so we took care of Bessie today. We watered our crops. I still don't think I've been in Takakura's house. I can't believe I didn't do that sooner. Hi, Takakura. I've not been doing a good job of befriending you, my dude. I'm so sorry. Also, um, Witty, Witty Michi, did I say your name right? Welcome in, thanks for the follow. If there's anything you're unsure about, I'm here to answer your questions. Some things are better learned by doing though. Wouldn't hurt to wander around the valley and chat up some folks that either probably learn a thing or two along the way. If I'm not around, check the notebook I left in your house on the side table up by your bed got a bunch of notes on the farm. Now I know I'm gonna sound like a real pain in your rear for asking this, but you should settle down and get married as soon as you can. Man, I literally got here like six days ago. <laughs> it was your old man's dream to run a farm with his family, so just keep it in mind. That's all I'm saying. I hear you, Takakura. Um, I don't know if he'll like flowers, but we'll try it. Apparently some of the wildflowers here have weird effects on crops if you uh, know what to do with them. Okay, so he doesn't like flowers. Um, mm, little Masu, regular Masu. Let's try giving him a little Masu, see if he'll like it. Would you look at that? You fish that up yourself? Heh, good on you. Okay, doesn't like that. <laughs> How about like a a coin? Would you like that? Mm -hmm. What in the world is that supposed to be? And where do you even find it anyway? Okay, all right. <laughs> None of those are for Takakura. Maybe he'll like some, um, <gasps> some cooked dishes that I should try now that I have tomates. If I have any recipes for that. I still need to look around like some of the, um, buildings and stuff and see if I can find any more recipes because we found a few that way yesterday. Um, I also need to give a tomato to Celia because thankfully I didn't accidentally eat all of them. That would have been bad. Oh, cutscene. Hello. Celia, I was just coming to see you. Oh gosh, it's, it's just you, Wade. Oof, <laughs> you scared me. Oh, where are you going? She's still scared. She's running. I am wearing this uh, this this new outfit. <laughs> she might be a little startled. The weather's lovely today, don't you think? I'm so glad it stayed nice out. Uh, got a minute? I don't know what we're about to say. Oh, oh lord, oh lord. There's Matthew. This would probably not be a good time to propose then. Why do you ask? Did you need something with me? Hey, Stacy, did you get the shopping done yet? That's right, it almost slipped my mind. I'm terribly sorry, I've gotta get the shopping done. Uh, I could <clears throat> go with you. Huh, but aren't you busy with work? Nah, work schmirk. Stop messing with Cece already. She said she had stuff to do, so let her do it. You just look inconsiderate bugging her about this. Yeah, you don't have to be so rude about it. Hey now, what's all the ruckus? Cece, you're still here? I thought you were going shopping. I I'm sorry, I was just, I'm just like 
I feel like causing Cecilia to get yelled at and I feel so bad. Hyde <laughs> was getting in her way. Uh, yeah. Matt, please. It's all Matthew's fault. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, Wade. Vesta, Wade didn't do anything wrong. Please don't be upset with her. Would you like to walk together halfway? Suck it, Matthew. <laughs> I should apologize, Wade. I know Matt can be tough to get along with, but he's not a bad person, honest. He just worries about me. I'm sorry. I know you said you wanted to chat, but I'll have to save it for next time. I'll see you later. I'm glad that we got to spend a little time together. Wonder if she actually went into town or if she's back home. I guess we'll find out because I did want to give her a flower. Good morning, good morning to you too. Uh, do you like to go by Mitchy or? Hope you're having a wonderful day and enjoying this wonderful game. No puns intended, it has been very wonderful indeed. Have you been playing it yourself? Hey, good to see you. That's not what you said earlier, Matthew. <laughs> I don't even know what to do anymore. Uh, sorry, just talking to myself. Is he okay? I hope so. Uh, not here to buy anything. Still don't have any money, but we have a lot of crops growing anyway. Um, let's try giving him this fish. Huh? Is that from around here? Okay, nope, didn't like that. Never mind. <laughs> let's put that away. Okay, uh, Celia's not up here, but let's like look through the stuff and see if there's any new recipes that I haven't gotten yet. Oh, she has like three hearts uh, for us now. A, getting the girl. Potted plants. All right, I don't think I'm seeing any more uh, recipes. Hopefully I didn't miss any spots there. What about down here? Let's see if I missed any spots here. Mm. Ooh, Math. I think assuming that's Matthews, he only has one heart for us. Feel bad. Feels bad, man. Um, make a curry. Any kid or phantom thief will adore. Potato, carrot, and loose spice. Learn a recipe for curry. Hey, we did find a new one. Nice. Feels good, man. All right. I think we've gotten everything out of there now. Mm. Nothing there. Just the music's so good and so, so nostalgic. I love it. I don't think I'm seeing anything new that we missed here. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's blow this popsicle stand. And we will head in this direction. Oh, there's uh, there's Celia. Perfect. Hi, Cecilia. Hmm, is everything all right? I'm, uh, oh, I'm here about your request for the tomates. Or just one tomate. I hope that you enjoy it, ma'am. Oh, wow, you brought what I wanted? Thank you so much. You don't know how much of help this is. Here, it's not a lot, but I hope it'll serve as a thank you gift. No thanks necessary, ma'am, but I will take your eggs, absolutely. Something else comes up, I can ask you, right? Absolutely, anything you need, I got you, girl. Let's also um, give her a flower, too. <laughs> Everyone calls me Mitchy, Witty, or Witty Mitchy. I have no preference. I'm on day five. Nice. That's where we ended um, yesterday. Well, technically, we had just finished day five. See so yeah, how we're making our way towards the end of the month now. Art style's cute, isn't it? Atomic, nice to see you. How are you? Persona 5 reference? I think I remember. Um, um, uh, Crystal mentioning something about that. It's a Persona 5 reference in this game. Oh, Rob, you've only got two achievements to go in the game? Nice. Are we pursuing Cecilia here? So I'm debating on either Cecilia or Gordy because I, I'm especially interested in Gordy because you couldn't romance him in the original game. So I think, you know, that might be nice to experience like a, a new character in that way. Oh, speaking of Gordy, he's like right down here. Let's go see him. Say hello. I think we've, um, I'm trying to think what we've tried to give in Gordy before. 
I, I think he's accepted flowers from us, maybe even fish too. But I feel like whenever I look at this like tab, um, Gordy's like um, meter, like with like, you know, the smiley face type deal is like always like lower. It's right around there. But I do have like one heart with him and he does accept my gifts. So like, I need to, uh, I, I wonder if there's any um, notes mention back at the house in regards to, um, oh, what did I just open up? I don't know. Um, in regards to like what that, that sliding meter means. Um, so I was thinking at first, like maybe that's how much they like the gift, but I, I really don't know. So I totally didn't notice this before. Wonders collected. So are these like achievements in the game then? Three of 88. Do they line up with the Steam achievements is the question. Are there 88 Steam achievements? No, there's not. There's 34 Steam achievements. So there's like some extra stuff in here. Oh, wow. There's like so many different ones that we don't have. I'm sure we'll get those like over the years in game though. And then we have like an expenses and income one. So, so far, um, our income has been 1500, but I've spent, uh, close to 3,900 apparently. <laughs> um, none shipped yet. Yeah. All, everything I've sold thus far has been to Van. Cause like, he's the only one that will buy a lot of my stuff. Yo, how are you? Doing well, Gordy. How about you? The sea swallows everything. Feelings, emotions, it all melts away in the face of the sea. That was deep, man. Um, okay. Hmm, what do I want to try giving him today? I might try giving him a fish too, see if he'll like it. I, <laughs> I hate stuff like that. Okay, never mind. He's an artist. What do you, we think? Would he like a clay figurine? Uh -huh. Oh, is that for me? Of course. Thanks. So glad you like it. All right, let's see if it changed anything with his, like, sliding meter or his hearts. He's still at one heart. And I feel like his, like, sliding meter there is, like, the same as well. So, yeah, I just really don't understand it, like, at all. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, um, we will go up here and see if, I was about to say if Gustav is home, he's not. I just saw him walking over there. Maybe we can catch up to him and Rock and give them some gifts. And I wanted to go home and see if I can make anything with the newfound, like, tomatoes and eggs that we have. Yo! Yo! Mm, I also picked the top uh, bun hairstyle. I was just like super pleased with like the amount of, of hairstyles that they had in this game because in the original, like I don't think you would change your hair at all. Um, so that was like super nice. But like also, um, I wasn't like super crazy about any of like the long like gown hairstyles. Um, but like I do wear my hair in like a bun a good bit. So I was like, I'll just go with the bun. I'll just do that. Oh? Fish, huh? I don't really love or hate him, but I'm not gonna say no if Ma cooks one up. What have I given him before? I thought I gave him a fish before, but apparently I didn't. Now I'm not sure what it was. Did I give him an herb? Oh? Uh, the heck is that? None for me, thanks. Nope, not that. Coin? Coin, maybe? You like coins? Yo! Uh, that looks pretty sweet. Is it for me? Yeah, all yours, man. Take it. <laughs> I don't think it was worth, like, a whole lot, so I don't mind. All right, and hi, Gustafa. Hey. We'll say hi to you, too. He's such a nice guy. Hey there, friend. Now, where should I play my guitar? I don't think I've heard him playing in the game yet. That would be nice to hear sometime. And here's a flower for you. It seems like my, like my character always gets tired around 2 p.m. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I don't remember seeing anything that explained that bar. I wish I could help. Okay, all right. But that's good to know then, so I don't go like digging through like the notes or anything. But yeah, that and like the whole energy versus like stamina system in this game are like a couple things that like confuse me. Hi, Pooey. 
Hmm? Your farm is so very full of food. Many tasty morsels in the ground just waiting to be collected. <laughs> Speaking of some tasty morsels, would you like a fish, Pooey? You hungry man? <gasps> is that an item for Pooey? Help yourself. You have made your friend very happy. Many, many thanks to you. He's so sweet. I love him. <laughs> I feel like he's kind of like the Linus of like the um the the Harvest Moon Story of Seasons franchise. But I love his like character design now with all the flowers and stuff. He's just such a happy boy. Speaking of happy boys, here's a precious one right here that will give some love to. Fin wait, Finnegan smells like sunshine is what it said. Oh, I wish I could say that again. That was so cute. I wish I could say my Finnegan smelled like sunshine. <laughs> Maybe after he gets a bath. <laughs> Just do all of the tasks with him. So precious. So precious. Okay. So, um... Cooking. That's what I was coming back here for. I'm struggling to remember. Hmm... Okay, so make my recipe. Let's see if I have anything that I could actually make right now. We do have the entrees category open now since we found the curry. A hearty, flavorful meal made by simmering a potato, a carrot, and loose spice. I'm trying to remember how you get loose spice. I want to say like maybe like by befriending Lou, possibly. Speaking of which, I need to start giving them some more gifts figure out what Lou likes. I don't know if I figured that out yet. Okay, um, soups wise, we have the good old milky soup, of course. Heartwarming soup, don't have the stuff for that. Don't have any carrots yet. I wonder if I could, um, like do like two tomatoes. If it'll let me do that. Not enough ingredients. Okay, so never mind. So it must have to be like two different, uh, types of vegetables, I would assume. And then for the salads, we have quick pickles, which uses like an onion, it looks like. Um, pickles, which uses like a, is that like a daikon? Mm, we could make a marinade, ooh. A fish is mixed and pickled with crops like turnips and tomatoes to create this uh, Chicken dish? I'm not sure how to say that. That one uses potato and milk. And then that caprese salad. That looks like really pretty. I'm not sure. Um, oh, it's probably cheese. That's on the on the right. I couldn't tell what it was for a second. But yeah, let's make some of this. Um, I guess we'll just use the masu and tomato because I have three of each of those. So that should work. Um, make dish. Oh, the herb, duh. I was like, why is this not working? <laughs> there we go. All right, and let's make, let's make three. I'm really curious, like, how much it'll sell for. I should have, like, taken note of, like, each of their individual um, values before I made that, but if it didn't increase in value, I'd kind of be surprised. Let's go outside and and check the, the ledger thing and see if it'll tell me. Wait a minute, do I have some, oh, I have some better quality milk now. Oh, did we get that from our cow? Oh, that's fantastic. It sells for 25 more gold. Kind of tempted to, mm. I was about to say go ahead and sell it, but if I make it into milky soup, it'll still sell for more for for 200 at least. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably still hang on to it. Um, and we have some chicken eggs now. They sell for 100 each. But the um, marinade that we just made, oh, that's pretty disappointing. It only sells for 110. So we're definitely taking a hit on that. But I feel like the marinade will probably be a good gift for people, I would think. Speaking of which, I, I could try to make like some milky soup for people. Could do that. Why don't we 
go inside. We'll make some, some milky soup. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Let's do this, make recipe, and then soup, milky soup, and let's make, should I just make 15 of them? Should I save the milk for like some other dish? Um, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that many. Okay, all right. It's been done, it's been decided. <laughs> All right, have a lot of this now, a lot of milk. My my milky soup enterprise is going great. And we'll go into town and see whom else we can maybe give some gifts to. Did I give a gift to, I think I did give a gift to Gordy today. I don't think I gave one to Matthew. I don't think I really figured out what he likes. So I would imagine that maybe he would like some milky soup. Huh? Did you uh make that for me? Bingo. <laughs> uh wow. I mean, thanks. Found someone that likes our milk. <laughs> Feels good, man. <laughs> All right, let's go into town and see who else we can find. Maybe give some to Gary. I don't know. Does he like flowers? Oh. Hello. Watch. That's some kind of local plan, ain't it? All right. Doesn't like that. What about my milk? You like my milk, Gary? Mm. That sure looks tasty. It most certainly is for you. Oh. Thanks so much. Or thanks a bunch. Wonder how good it is. I'm all a flutter just thinking about it. <laughs> when you offer them them soup, but it's just milk instead. <laughs> did we give Nina a flower today? Oh. I can't remember if I did. Let me let me try just in case. That sure looks nice. Are you giving it to me? I guess I didn't oh. give her a gift. I'm glad that we are now. Also, hey, Mila. Nice to see you. How are you? I hope that you're having a good one. Welcome, welcome in, friend. And let's go in here, because I do need to, like, befriend some of these peoples. Hi, Tay. Hey, welcome, Wade. Always a pleasure to see you. If you travel to the city, they sell all sorts of rare foods there. You can try. Like shaved ice pile high with honey. Oh, and I've uh, even seen grilled frogs and grasshoppers. Ooh. Hey, don't knock them till you. I'm. I'm gonna knock them. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, I think he likes flowers. You got something real nice there. It is all for you, man. Pretty sure I have tried to give Chris a flower before, and I don't think she liked it. So maybe she will like um, some milk. Oh, you're here too, Wade. What a coincidence. Did you make that yourself? It looks spectacular. Apparently not spectacular enough for you to actually take. <laughs> oh, hi. Perfect timing, Lou. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome to kick your heels up for a bit. Ain't much, but it's home. Go on and make yourself comfortable. What's ours is yours. She's so nice. Um. Lou, would you take my milk? Did you make that yourself? Nicely done. Still not nice enough to take. Feels bad, man. What about like the the marinade? Do you think they would take that? I had no idea I was uh, talking to a master chef. Still don't like it though. <laughs> no answer here. No answer there either. I'm gonna look around and see if we can find anything else um, recipe wise. Mm, you can make a quick hors d'oeuvre with just a fish. Learn the recipe for, ooh, mystery recipe. Awesome. And I do have some fish too, so we could do that. Um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, Paul, nice to see you. Welcome in. I'm gonna have to get used to your new name, Paul. <laughs> you and Nick um, need any extra help with your trip expenses coming up. Um, I'd be able to help in a few days. Paul, that is like so thoughtful of you. You like do so much to, to help and contribute like already. And please know like it is so helpful and so appreciated, but never expected. I just appreciate you being here. Um, and like, I would just feel bad like asking anybody for anything like that. But thank you. Thank you so much for um, spending your time here. Um, that's, that's really important to me. 
Oh, hello. What do you want? Can't you tell I'm postulating? He's just not a very nice guy. Maybe we can like warm him up a little bit with some, some milk. Is it starting to rain? Oh, this is the first time I've seen rain in the game. Did you cook that yourself? If this is some kind of gift, I'll take it. Well, speak up. Is it? Y yes, sir. It's yours now. He likes the milk. Feels good, man. I'll gladly take it off your hands. We're warming up to him. Feels good, man. Mm -hmm. uh, t -t 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 -t. Also, um, Ace, thank you so much. I appreciate you, friend. Also, hi, Nami. Oh, there's a chill in the air. Must be the rain. It's nice that they, like, acknowledge it, too. Do you like milk, Nami? What's up with that? Oh, did you make it yourself? I bet you put in a lot of effort. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're welcome to try it. Huh? Uh, for me? Really? Well, sure, if that's cool with you. Thanks. No worries. Okay, um... Hmm, whom else might we be able to give some gifts to? There's Matthew in here. We did give a gift to him before. Hey, there you are. Welcome. You looking to buy something? Or I'm with my lack of money, but <laughs> not today, man. But maybe sometime. How do you feel about, um, have we tried to give him flowers before? I'm sure. He doesn't like it. But how about this? Color me impressed. Mmm, looks tasty. He doesn't want to take it though. Feels bad, man. How about like fish? Have we tried to give him fish before? Um. Now that, my friend, is a favorite of mine. Would you mind terribly if I took it off your hands? Help yourself. There you go. I only found something he likes. <laughs> Adzuki, thanks so much for thanking our wonderful mods. We do have some great ones indeed. Oh, do I finally get to enter the basement? Oh, oh, Molly, mm -hmm. don't leave as soon as I got here. Come on in and take a load off. You need something for me? Or is it Gavin you're looking for? Oh, I was gonna come in here and, and take a look around, but I'm glad it didn't like force me out when she left. Keep out, you naughty thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we can't look at the note here on the table. I thought maybe that would be something. It doesn't really seem like there are like any notes here that we can interact with. Just the, just the stairs there. Calls me out for being pervy apparently. Okay, um, so let's blow this popsicle stand. Just so cozy with the rain. Hi, little Hugh. Evening. Even on days like this, uh, I got a train. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> um, are you hungry, little guy? Did you make that? Looks good. I still don't know what he would like as a gift. Maybe some, some moonlight ore, perhaps? Oh, I want that, gimme gimme. All right, here you go. Yeah, thanks. Will I have anything still to sell to, um, to Van tomorrow when he's here. He's giving away all my stuff. <laughs> but hmm. it's okay, we can always make more. Oh, it's you, good evening. Whew, time for a break. I don't think I found anything that Charlie likes either. Maybe the marinade? Hmm. That looks like one tasty treat. Do you don't suppose it's for me? It is. Well, I'll be, you got a good heart. Thank you kindly. Glad we finally found something that he likes too. I wonder if his brother is up here. No, okay. Well, um, we'll work our way up to uh, Romana's village or village. Uh, uh, why am I blinking on words? Villa. There we go. <laughs> and um, it's so big. It's kind of a village. And then we'll do like some fishing. I especially want to do some fishing since I found out we have a, a recipe now that just requires one. That'll be nice. Oh, and I think this is the first time we're in her bedroom too. Oh, this brings back so many memories. The antique wooden cabinet looks pretty expensive. I don't know how she like gets to it with the bed being like so close to it though. 
feel like it's like some pretty cramped quarters in here. There's a picture decorating the mantle. A young Romana is smiling in front of a large boat. Aww. Mm, oh, I didn't mean to leave. Whoopsies. I'm glad she didn't try to leave right after. Uh, aspirations by Gufan? Wuhan? Something like that. Maybe. Um, anything else? I think I've maybe seen everything in here. Oh. Welcome, dear. Please make yourself at home. It gets lonely living in a huge mansion. That's why I always welcome visitors. She's so sweet. I wonder if I can give her a gift while she's like sitting down. Oh. Gracious, is that for me? You bet. Oh my, not right now though. Yeah, okay. She can't take them while she's in her sitting animation. Big sad. Oh, it's just so cozy in here with the rain and the lamp lights. I love that. Just wanted to see if there was anything that I missed in here too. I do know how to make marinade. We did that earlier. All right. And let's see if Lumina is up here. I don't think uh, we can go in either of these rooms. But Lumina's room. Here we go. Hi, Lumina. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. Forgotten Valley is a charming little place, is it not? Everyone here is so unique. She does like flowers, so we'll give one of those to her. I simply love what you have there. I would hate to presume, but is that for me? It is indeed. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I mean, er, what a thoughtful gift. My thanks. Let's uh, snoop around her room as well, see if she has any recipes in here. Picture of a little girl. Must be Lumina when she was younger. Oh, she feels two hearts about us. Nice, nice. In this closet. She must have a, bit, a pretty big walk-in closet, I would presume. Okay, I don't think I'm seeing anything else in here, but I love her uh, kettle and teacup. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, out we go. Just wanted to glance around here and see if there was anything else that we missed too. Mm, I can make a stew with two potatoes and some milk, but can you? I already learned that one, apparently. Mm, nothing there. Nothing there. All right, back down the stairs we go. Oh, and here's Sebastian. <laughs> Greetings, madam. It is good to see you. The fish I received from you was simply the best I've ever tasted. No matter how I choose to repair it, I imagine it would have uh, just been delectable. So glad. Um, do I have any more fish that I can give him? I, I do have like these huge fish here. I was kind of wanting to hang on to, but we'll give him another. All, all you, man, it's, a, it's officially yours. <laughs> oh. Mm, and thank you, Ra. Much appreciated, man. Mm. What was that? So hard for people to say. Yeah, I always just like said said Volt. Where's Paul? <laughs> and I thought I would uh, change my name up. Side joke to reinvent myself. My uh, work before coming back to creating again. Oh, I hope so. Sapphire is uh, for Pokemon Sapphire. Is that one your favorite Pokemon? Hi, Gordy. You enjoying the rain, man? All my focus is on my art. I hear ya. I'm about to change that. <laughs> so I wanted to do some fishing tonight, but it's like already um, nearly midnight. So I'm really not gonna have a lot of time to do much fishing. Maybe like one fish. I do want to get home before it's midnight. It's nice that they like to comment on the gifts. Yeah, I don't think I've noticed them doing that. Like, they definitely haven't done that every time. So I kind of wonder the fact that he did that. Oh, you know what I just thought about? Poor Bessie is in the rain right now. Oh gosh, he's probably going to get sick. Oh no. Ooh, huge wakasaki. Okay, I gotta get home. Oh, my poor cow. Hi, Mac. Thank you, thank you. Haven't been able to put this game down. 
Thanks for that, Wade Below. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Mac, thank you so much for the five month resub. Guys, we can get some hype and chat for our friend Mac. Welcome back to the sub family. How are you doing? I'm glad that you've been enjoying the game. How far into it are you? Oh, poor Bessie, she was in the rain for so long. It says she's doing well though. I hope that it'll like stay that way like through tomorrow, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't make it to uh, bed quite in time for midnight, but that's okay. All right, um, so let's go inside and we shall get some sleeps. Poor Bessie, I feel so bad. It's right in our journal too. Focusing on Nami uh, for my spouse, uh, for my first time around. I'm in midsummer, Mac. You weren't kidding when you said you haven't been able to put it down. Jeez. <laughs> that makes me so happy to hear that you're enjoying it, friends. And uh, Nami's a cutie. You'll have to let me know how your experience goes with her. I'm back. Welcome back, Wonderland. But yeah, no, Mila, I can't remember if I finished my, my thought earlier when I was um, remembering that poor Bessie was outside. But the fact that, like, only like a couple times have I heard people like comment on what we've given to them. I wonder if that's like a clue to be like, okay, this is like their favorite gift type deal. That would be my guess at least. All right, we are not letting Bessie out today. And I don't need to worry about watering um, today either, our crops, so that's nice. Bessie is pretty energetic today. I'm so glad that she's not sick. Forgot to milk her last night, but we'll go ahead and do that now. Should have um, done done some brushing beforehand, but better late than never. Thanks, Bessie. You're precious. All right, so let's get out of here. I do want to see how our crops are progressing. Our melons are coming along. Your watermelon grew in. It's almost harvest time. Oh, thank goodness, because I think we have to harvest them before the end of spring. Or maybe they go into summer. I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, all right. So um, let's get this other herb over here and try not to eat it. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this is one of our potatoes. It's flowering. That's so pretty. Okay, all right. Let's go into town and see what shenanigans we can get up to today. Ooh, it's a van day. So we need to sell some stuff to van. So maybe what I'll do is um, do some fishing beforehand before he sets up his shop. And that way I can make whatever recipe that was that used the fish. Also, uh, Anita, thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. I got an early access code and didn't want to do too much of the story because I didn't want to spoil completely understandable. I hope that um, what you did play was enjoyable for you though. Played some Valorant today. Nice, nice. How did the Valorant go? Hope you got some good wins. The outfit, how cute. I just discovered that I had this today and I was like, yes, I need to put this on. It went poorly. No, I'm so sorry, Anya. I hope that next time will be better. I, I hope at least you, you had a good stream and enjoyed the, the process along the way. Where am I going? I don't really need to leave here. Yeah, let's just stay here. Also, Anya, if you need to step away, get you any noms, uh, drinks, stretches, rest. I know you said you were sleepy after your stream. Please make sure to do so. But I'm so happy to see you and so glad to have your community here. I really appreciate that so much. Also, your emotes are always so cute. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine that the quality or like the value of the fish would change like the value of the dish I cook it into, but maybe I could be wrong there. Gotta make some food. I'll leave a lurk up. Always appreciate the lurks. Thank you so much. Enjoy your noms. Speaking of noms, um, tonight, um, good old Mama Wade is, is coming over. Uh, she and I from time to time will, um, Either she'll come over to my house or I'll go over to her house and we'll make dinner and 
watch a show. And um, tonight she's coming over. I'm making some, uh, gonna make some tacos, I think. And she said she was bringing over some margaritas. So I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> but um, we just finished watching season five of The Crown. I don't know if anybody else uh, has watched that show. And then um, we just started up season three of Sanditon. For anybody who is like me and a sucker of, uh, or su uh, sucker for like historical dramas and historical fiction, like period pieces and that kind of thing, I definitely recommend Sanditon. It's it's very wholesome, very cute. It's 10 a.m. in game right now. I want to say that Van sets up his shop. I was thinking around noon, but maybe it's sooner. But we'll see. I just need to make some good money today because I, well, for one, don't have any right now. And I really want to start, like, ordering some more animals and stuff. So right now I just have Bessie. Speaking of Bessie, too, you know what I just thought about? is um she's probably like starting to get low on her fodder situation i definitely need to order some more of that i'm also like it just had a thought i hope that like the rain won't deter van from setting up his shop today because that would really suck especially since he's only in town twice a month I need to pour some more water for myself. Might make some tea soon, too. Locals are starting to get a little pokey feeling. For anybody uh, else who's been playing this game so far, what uh, character are you guys thinking of pursuing? I know Anya just mentioned that she is planning on going for... Um... Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Hold up. Uh... Oh, who was it that just mentioned they were going for Nami? I think it was Mac. Mac just mentioned they were going for Nam or Nami. Yeah. Mixing up all the peoples. Oh, Anya, are you going for Cecilia? Cecilia is best girl. I love her. I was considering going for Cecilia myself, but I think I'm going to go for Gordy since he wasn't available in the original Another Wonderful Life. I think he'd be... Um, be kind of cool to, to experience something new there. The little tech sound effect takes me back, right? Just like they really stayed true to like all the like the sound effects and um, the the music. And it's just, yeah, it's been very nice. Very nice. Miss Cecilia was a very close second. I can't say I blame you. She's quite wonderful. <laughs> Good day to you, Forgotten Valley. I am open for business. Heck yeah. Rain or shine, I guess. Thank you, Van. All right, so what we'll do is we will go back home. I'm gonna do some cooking. I'm gonna like kind of like test and see a little bit like the values of stuff. So I'll probably only make some stuff like one at a time so we can figure out like what would be a good money maker for Van today. All right, um, so let me look at my inventory right now before we start. So we found out that Milky Soup, it sells for like 200, I think it's 200. But I can go over here and check for sure. Oh, it's, it's only 150. I was thinking it was higher for some reason, but yeah, no, 150 is correct. So with that, we make a 50 uh, G increase on regular milk and then normal milk. Assuming the better quality milk wouldn't raise the quality of the soup, we would get like a 25 G increase from that, which is still something. Um, I was really disappointed with the marinade because we kind of like lost profit by making that in the food. Um, so I probably won't be making like any more of that, honestly. Um, but we'll see what else we can make. 
So like the huge Masu is worth 90. The little Wakasagi is 20. So I feel like th those would be really good to cook something into. Huge Wakasaki is 80. And the regular Wakasaki is uh, 30. So I know there was a dish that we got that like is just, just fish. So I, I feel like we've got to make some kind of profit with that probably. I wait. Hey, Brookell. So nice to see you. How have you been doing? I hope you've been really great. How is Story of Seasons treating you so well? Um, so the original uh, A Wonderful Life was like my favorite childhood game. So I, I was waiting a really long time for this one and been really enjoying it so far. Have you been playing it yourself? I'll do the same with Animal Parade, please. That would be such a good remake. Oh. Milky Soup is 150. I've made almost all of my money from that. Like, it's like a no-brainer. Like, it's just like free profit. Like, I'll take it. Thank you. I've kind of been surprised how much milk we've gotten each day from the cow. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, uh, hors d'oeuvres. We've unlocked that now. So yeah, it's a mystery one. So let's, um... You aren't skilled enough yet? Call me out, game. Try again after you've gained more cooking experience. No way. I was wondering why it had like the question marks on it. So apparently if it has question marks, you can't make it even though you have the recipe. That's, that's a bummer. <laughs> well, is there anything else that I can make today? I don't think I can do that quite yet. Yeah, I don't have a loose spice. I'm not gonna make any more marinade. Mmm, can't make that. Don't have cheese. <laughs> Are we just making some more milky soup today? Are we staying true to the to the milky soup enterprise? I think we are. <laughs> All right, milky soup it is. Um, make dish and we will make eight of them. Okay. All right. Yes. And I think I can sell my um, my fishies directly to Van today as well. See, so yeah, I'll probably do that too since I can't make anything with them right now. Might as well. Rochelle, thank you for doing that caster command too. I appreciate it. Milky soup stonks. Love me some some milky soup. I mean, like in game. If I had it like IRL, it would probably kill me. <laughs> It's also one of Nami's faves, so that uh, makes it easy. So how did you find that out, Mac? Was it like you gave her the milky soup and she commented on the next day? Or like, did you like look up a guide for it? It's like, I've noticed a couple characters like come back the next day and be like, hey, I really enjoyed that, that such and such you gave me. And I was wondering if that was like a, a, a tell that that was like their favorite. Naka, it's nice to see you. How are you? She commented on it. Okay, that's kind of what I was suspecting. That um, that's what it meant. It's just like hard to like remember like what each character is commented on. So maybe I should like write them down in the future. I know that um, I know that uh, Sebastian, he um, commented on a fish that we gave him. So I don't know if. Um, it was like a particular fish that he really liked or if it's just any fish. But I gave him, I think, another fish yesterday. So we'll see what he says today if I can find him again. I am here to sell, my dude. Hope you brought your money. All right. I think I'm going to like sell my um, my goddess trot flowers too because we just like have so many of them. And the toy flowers just sell everything <laughs> um all right start with those and put that there huge wakasaki we'll do that too um should i just like sell all of the fish I was thinking of keeping like some for like gifts. Mm. I'm sure I'm gonna find some more flowers today. So let's sell those two. 
I think I'll keep the herbs since I'll be able to use those in dishes in the future. Same with the eggs too. Okay, all right. How much you got for me? Uh, <clears throat> I can offer you a total of 4,585 G. Would that suffice? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess that'll be okay. That is some juicy moolah, if I do say so myself. Okay, I, um, do you have anything new to buy? You can buy the country outfits. Super drink, power drink, energy drink. Um, I think I'm good there. Um, but what I, I really do want to do is, oh, we'll uh, first go over here and say hi to Gustafa. Hey. I would give him a flower, but I just sold all of mine, so we'll have to find some more. But I wanted to go back to the, the ledger and see about actually like ordering some more animals and maybe some fodder today. Because I haven't done that yet. I think that's a tell, but the response when you give it to them is also telling. Oh, was it different there too? I totally didn't even notice. I'll have to pay attention more. So order animal, order breeding. Feed, order facilities too. Yeah. What's the deal with this? So I guess this would be if you wanted like breeding from like a external bull, <laughs> like like a bull that you don't own, um, like commission them to be bred. But no, I, I think we're okay for now. And I see like a milk canister symbol beside her name. I'm assuming that j just means that like she can still give milk right now. I wonder how long, um, how long did their pregnancies last for? Maybe we should breed her. I'll have to look back at the notes. I think it did mention how long their pregnancies last. So we can get a bull, some brown cows, um, marble cows. I really like this, um, this marble cow. Cause it has pink spots. <laughs> Kind of like a strawberry cow. Oh. Mmm. Star cow. It looks very similar to the brown cow. And we got sheep. Oh my goodness. Chickies. <laughs> oh. Um. All right. What am I going to buy? Um. All right. We got 4,500. I was like, yeah, surely I can do a bunch with that. Honestly, these animals are pretty expensive, so I can't do a whole lot. Um, I mean, I, I could buy the, the sheet, but here's the thing. I don't even have like shears for it, so I don't know if that would be worth it right now. I feel like we should probably order like a chicky though. Just like looking to see what all we have. So you can order three different types of these things per day. Bird feed, fodder plus, and then regular fodder. Leave a bag of this in your coop's feed bin and your birds will flock over to eat. I wonder like how long that lasts for. Cause this, this is like one serving, but I would assume that with this, it could feed like a bunch of them since it's 100, maybe like five chickens possibly, since it's like five times the price. I stopped at day six, so now I uh, get to live through you, Oliver Gal. Yeah, that's where we stopped yesterday um, at the beginning of day six. So it'll be interesting to see how much we can progress today. I'm expecting to get like maybe a little bit into summertime. So you can get a pond here. Build a small pond in the pasture. It's an ideal watering hole for animals and water folk alike, or water fowl alike. I like water folk. <laughs> processing room. Build a special facility used for processing milk into butter or cheese. That is 150,000. Oh my goodness. Fertilizer maker. Um, handy environmental friendly machine that lets you recycle old items into fertilizer. 
I wonder what kind of old items. Barn upgrade, coop upgrade, fertilizer spreader. And installs a fertilizer spreader for the poor field. When a fertilizer's inserted, it'll run automatically twice a day. I wonder what the difference is with this one and this one. Oh, for the poor field or for the good field. I see, I see, okay. Interesting. Um, okay, yeah, I can't afford any of those right now anyway. <laughs> so let's um, look in here and... Let's get, let's get a lady chicky. Can I order only one animal per day? Oh, I wanna order more. No. <laughs> All right, just one a day it seems. But um, we can order some beads for them and that kind of stuff. I wonder if there is any like bird feed already. Let me see how much regular fodder we have too. Look at the precious coop. Oh, like it. We don't own any birds. Well, we're about to fix that game. A shallow pool for birds to drink from. Is there not a, um, like a, a bird feed, like storage in here? I was thinking that there would be, but no, I guess not. Okay, so I'm assuming then that we don't have any bird feed. <laughs> Let's go in and see about the fodder situation. I don't think I can get any more, um, I don't think I can get any more milk from Bessie right now, but I think in a couple hours we should be able to. So we've got 21 fodder left in the silo. trying to think like how many I want to, to order. Mm. Okay, so each one is 20. Um, this is tough. <laughs> I mean, I only have like the one cow right now, but I, I do want to get some more, of course, in the future. Maybe we'll just get like 29 for now. That'll bring it to like an even 50. Let's do that. And then um, the bird feed. I'm going to get of those for now. Okay, all right. So we'll have, uh, it was the year 2014. Anyone remember that year? Good year, good year. <laughs> um, so we'll have 2000 left over for tomorrow. And that way I can maybe get like a male chicky. Um, maybe we'll save like the rest of the money. I think we'll have to. I mean, I could probably get one more female chicky afterward, but yeah. The pink sheep are everything. Aren't they so cute? I just want all the pink animals. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that will be... How much was it to breed? Or Oh, you can't, I guess, uh, order breeding and an animal at the same time. Um, okay, all right. Well, that's good for that then. And then... Um, Hmm, what do we want to do with the remainder of the day? I can't remember what time Van leaves exactly, but um, we could try to catch some more fish for him. We could like grab some more flowers. Maybe I'll grab some more flowers. It's like each flower is only worth like 25, but when we like gather them all up in bulk, it really adds up. Looks like the Pokemon team selection. I could see it.
Hopefully Van won't leave before I actually like gather up all these flowers because that would be unfortunate. Well, is the rain ending? Oh, it was so cozy while it lasted. Really enjoyed it. So maybe we'll go out and uh, let, or go and let Bessie out before we head like into town and stuff. That way we can milk her again too. And make some more milky soup. I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. So many flowers, so little time. Okay, all right, did we get them all? <laughs> I think so. Um, but while we're over here, let's go into the tree and learn a new recipe. Let me teach you something. What you got for me? Tomamello salad. Didn't we learn something like that yesterday? I was thinking we did. Hi, Pooey. Nice to see you too. Hmm? The meal your kindness gave me was very delicious. Yes. Very. I hope you will have more meals to give your friend Pooey. So we gave him a fish yesterday. So I'm going to say that, that one of Pooey's favorite dishes then is fish. Hang on. Let me add that to my list. Okay. Cool beans. Um, so we can blow this popsicle stand. We'll go back to our farm. Let out Bessie. Also, um, hello. <laughs> what are you? There is a bandage wrapped. Wait, oh, there's a very big lizard. What did it say about the bandage? I think just saying that it was wrapped around its its front leg. Are you okay, little guy? Can we give it like a gift, I wonder? Do you like flowers? Very big lizard. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you feel better with your with your 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 bandage, you know, situation and everything. Hi, Carter. Greetings. Nothing bolsters the spirit quite like good weather. Don't you agree? It's uh very pretty today, but I do miss the rain. That was quite nice too. Oh, don't need to go up there. <laughs> Pretty good, my birthday is tomorrow, right? And I'm excited, I'm excited for you, Maccas. Happy early birthday. Guys, can we get some happy early birthdays in chat for our friend Maccas, aka McDonald's? Maccas, do you have any uh, fun plans for your birthday? All right, we will give another snuggle to precious Bessie and let's do some more milking. It should be time for it. Awesome, there we go. All right, and before we go back out, let's go in here and sell, um, or sell. Let's make uh, some of this milk into, you guessed it, my favorite, some good old milky soup. Does anyone remember what time Van's store closes up for the evening? So I would really like to go out and get some more flowers, but just questioning if I have time. Oh, I thought that was a uh, fan for a second. I was like, well, I guess I just answered my own question. <laughs> Hi, Honeydew Farm. I hope all the cute little plants and animals are thriving. Cecilia, is that you? Oh, hi, Cecilia. She's so cute. Oh, I guess she was just saying hi and <laughs> walked away. Oh, you startled me. Are you taking a break from work now too? You can't find peace and quiet like this anywhere else. We'll just have to be careful. We don't go, uh, we don't do anything to frighten the creatures who live here. Uh, st stay still or make some noise. <laughs> Where's the air horns when we need them? <laughs> I love how calming the forest is. When I close my eyes and clear my mind here by the spring, it fills me with so much joy. Still looks pretty cloudy up there. You know what I mean, right? Uh, not at all. <laughs> Absolutely. You must be exhausted from work. Make sure you don't overdo it, okay? I'll see you later. She's so precious. How could you not love her? Oh, my heart. Uh, 
Well, Mac, 2014 was a pretty good year for you. Third year of college had started, moved into your first apartment. Good times, nice. I was joking earlier about it being like a good year. It, it, it honestly was a horrible year for me, but <laughs> but that was the year, that was my uh, second year. I was in second year of college at that point. So pretty close, pretty close. Imagine how cute the um, animals in Animal Parade would be with this style, right? Guys, thanks so much for wishing some happy early birthdays to our friend Maccas. Closes around 5-ish? Oh, it's 5.39 right now. Ooh. I was gonna go get some more flowers, but uh, I'm just gonna run over here in case he closes up soon. Don't close while I'm running over here, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Welcome to my humble place of business. How may I be of service? I am here to sell you some more stuff. You know what I just remembered too? I completely forgot that you can actually like set up your own shop in this game. Characters might lowball you, but I need to try that sometime. Okay, just a little, just a few more things. I can offer you 1000 G even. That is like really satisfying. Sounds good to me. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Nope, I'm good. So we'll see if we can get some more flowers before he leaves, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to. I don't think there's any more requests here, no. That will be all for today, gracious patrons. Apologies, my, my shop must now close. So apparently six is the time that he closes. Yeah, we got back just in time, just in time. Didn't do any mining today. I, I would imagine that they're probably out of the mine at this point. So we can just kind of go around, um, Give out some gifts, maybe do uh, some more fishing. There are so many flowers over here that I didn't grab. Think of the money. Next time, next time. Mm, and hey, Tina, nice to see you. How is your day going? I hope that so Wednesday is treating you well. I keep thinking it's Thursday for some reason, but it's probably for the best that it's only Wednesday because this weekend is uh, the weekend that Nick and I are taking our drive to mis visit Minnesota and got a lot of stuff to do to prepare before then. Like some, some more YouTube videos and packing and all that fun stuff. Speaking of YouTube videos, um, I have started to upload this playthrough to my YouTube. So I've got part one on there now. I'll have um, the other parts kind of rolling out over the course of like the next week because next week is when Nick and I will be in Minnesota. There won't be any streams next week. And then um, I think tomorrow is when I plan on uploading the um, new July Cozy Games video. So if anybody's looking for some new cozy games to play in July, uh, potentially some um, games to grab during the summer Steam sale, which starts up tomorrow, then you'll be able to check those out there. Um, I was looking to see if I had anything to give to Matthew. Did he like the cooked food? I think he did. Did you want to make that for me? We did. Wow, I mean, thanks. No worries, man. Six, I guess, noted. You were close. You were close, though. Thank you for the help. We'll go and give a flower to Gustafa. I still want to, like, go in his house. Haven't been to that in this game. Now, where should I play my guitar? He's probably glad it's, like, not raining anymore. That might have been a good time to go in his house. This is for you, man? Maybe he's going in there now. Maybe we can follow him. <laughs> See if he ends up there. Who else can we find in the meantime while he's uh, slowly walking along? I wish the name the cow was named Milk Shack. I'm sad about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was just so bummed that we couldn't name it Milkshake. The the eight character cap um was was very um disappointing. But you know what was funny? So 
um, some of you guys know Crystal. Um, she's one of my favorite content creators and she actually raided us yesterday. She's uh, been playing the new Story of Seasons too. And um, I watched a little bit of her part one playthrough um, this morning as well. And she also tried to name her first cow Milkshake, <laughs> but also had to rename it. And I'm like, yep, I feel your pain. Yo, how are you? What's up? Nice to see you, Gordy. I don't think he's given me any special dialogue yet on like, hey, I really enjoyed like that item you gave me. Um, I would like to give you something now, Gordy, but uh, how about a flower for now? That's better than nothing. I kind of want to, oh, we can't because his arms are crossed. Full of water. Is this for cooling the metal? I want to look around his house and see if we can find any new recipes. Birdie will probably punch these sheets of metal into works of art sooner or later. <laughs> hey, I need to leave now. Could you go? I, oh, Gordy, I'm trying to find if you have any recipes, man. All right, okay, I'm leaving. Maybe now we can give him flour. Yeah, here we go. Uh -huh. It is for you indeed. Thanks, no worries. What? What could it be that's like his favorite item, I wonder? Because I don't think I figured that out yet. Like he's an artist. So what could I give that's like art related, you know? Hi, Charlie. Oh, can I talk to you? Oh. There we go. You want to talk pyrotechnics? You've come to the right place. I wasn't really looking to, but I tried the marinade I got from you the other day, and phew, it was like an explosion of flavor. Ain't my favorite for nothing. Heck yeah. Okay, so marinade is one of Charlie's favorites. And he mentioned marinade specifically. So, like, I'm assuming it's not just like cooked, dish oh, cooked dishes in general. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put marinade on his list. Okay, all right, cool. Your mom took vacation time off work to spend the day with you and your friends are coming over Friday to spend the day with you. Makas, that sounds like a wonderful birthday. I'm so happy for you, friends. You'll have to let me know uh, what all you guys get up to. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple Tina friends in here and they're like, I didn't even realize that they both start with like a B for the second part. I got Tina Bina and Tina Bambina. <laughs> oh man, this is this is gonna be tough. I'm 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 just so used to calling both of you Tina, so I'm gonna have to be a little more specific now. Tina Bina and Tina Bambina, <laughs> not to be confused with one another. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Oh, welcome. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Hey. hey there, neighbor. Welcome. Hands off the equipment, neighbor. Don't want you getting yourself hurt. Honestly, I probably would. Need to work on my noodle arms. Um, I could try giving um, him this cooked dish. Did you make that? Mm, looks tasty. All right. Nope. Doesn't like that. Oh, well, Chris doesn't like it either. Um. He was asleep, so we can't have guests upstairs right now. Sorry, no worries. Yeah, I don't want to be like creeping on the child. That would be weird. And I'm assuming everybody's asleep in here. It is 10:17 to be fair, so I should probably stop knocking on people's doors. Let's see who's at the bar. Surprisingly, nobody. Okay, all right. Well, um, we'll say hi to Molly and Gavin, I guess. Mm -hmm. Come on in and take a load off. When you're feeling worn out, a nice refreshing drink is just the thing to perk you up. Hi Gavin, nice to see you. Hey there, welcome. You looking to buy something or... I mean, I guess we could afford something to buy right now, but yeah, not at the moment. Everything on the menu is an original recipe, so only Gavin knows how to make it. That's super cool. I think we tried to give him a cooked dish yesterday, but I can't remember. Let me impressed. Looks tasty, but yeah, he won't take it. What about the fish? Did he take that? Molly? <laughs> I'm a little stuck right now, baby girl. <laughs> now that, my friend, is a favorite of mine. Would you mind terribly if I took it off your hands? Okay, so Gavin... I'm assuming he, like, 
I'm assuming when he says it's a favorite of his, it's, it's actually like a, a favorite. So I'm going to say fish for him. Assuming it's not like a, a specific fish. I'm just going to say fish for now. And we do know that Molly likes flowers, so we'll give one of those to her. Yes, ma'am. Can you take it? Are you too busy? I'm tied up right now. Oh, I kind of kind of had a feeling. What about right now? She kind of stepped away from the counter. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's like I'm a little busy right now. Let me like unbusy myself. <laughs> it is 1055 currently. Here's rock too. I tried Yo. giving him any cooked dishes. Yo. Let's try it. I've got one marinade left. Yo. No joke, bud? I'd inhale that in two seconds flat. Whoa, wait, is it for me? It is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. All right, we are uh, properly out of marinade now. But yeah, so thankfully we let in Bessie last night, and I'm really glad that we did because it started raining. Let's go in and give her some love. Hey, Bessie, nice to see you. She's pretty energetic. I'm so glad that she's doing well. And today, don't we have um, a new chickie? I think we do. I'm, I'm part of the reason behind the tractor dating sim. Anybody who took part in that, um, you're doing God's work. Thank you so much. All right, so let's go out of here. And, um, an expandable deposit box. Items or awards from other residents will be delivered here. I was wondering if the feed that we ordered showed up there. How would I get the feed? Oh, look, the rain's stopping, so I guess we can let Bessie out. Is the chicky here, or is that going to take a little while longer? Maybe it just takes a few days. Cause yeah, I don't see anything in here either. Also, Mochi, welcome in. Orders take two days, I think. Okay, thank you. That was like the first time I had ordered anything in this remake, so I wasn't quite sure. But thankfully, we can go ahead and like order like another animal. I definitely want to to do that. So we could order like a we could order like a bull. Um, or I could order a male chickie. Technically, I have enough money for both, but we can only order like one today. And I think we'll, I think we'll do the, the chickie, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Start getting some more chickies. Okay. Um, I think I'm good on everything else. And yeah, let's um, check on our stuff over here. Wow, our like banana tree is, is coming along well. Use a hoe if you don't need this crop. Yeah, no, let's not destroy it now. And look at our melons, are they ready? Oh my gosh, we have melons, yes! Oh, we have so many. Now this would have been nice to potentially sell to Van yesterday. I wonder if I can make these into any recipes. I'll have to check and see. And strawberries? We have strawberries ready today too? So excited. Don't accidentally eat any of the melons. <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> accidentally did that with one of my tomatoes and I was so sad. Your strawberries grew in, they did, but maybe they're not quite ready to harvest yet. I guess they do need a little bit more time. Same with the tomatoes over here and the potatoes too, the good old potatoes. Okay, all right. Um, I told myself I wouldn't eat a watermelon and I did it. I do need to reassign like at least a couple keys again. And one of those is like, I assigned like, like, uh, eat or interact as like left click and yeah that's got me in trouble twice <laughs> i 
I should have uh, saved last night too. Completely forgot to do that. All right, well, we'll go ahead and do it now. <laughs> right after I said I wasn't going to do it too. <laughs> The feed will show up in the blue box in front of your house. Okay, maybe tomorrow then. I need to go on alert to get some noms and stretch. Please do, friend. I don't think I took a break the whole time streaming. Bless your heart. Yeah, definitely to go do the thing. Momo, thank you so much again for the raid. That was so sweet of you to bring your community over. Hope that you have some good noms, some good stretches, and we'll see you later. Also, Mochi, that um, emote there is super cute. Oh, Takakura will call you over when the animal is here. That's right. I do remember that from the original game now. Thank you, uh, for letting me know about that. All right. Can I make anything with my leftover, um, melons? <laughs> Tomamello salad. So that uses... That to me looks like like a like a like a cantaloupe or a honeydew, not like a. Is that my melon? Yeah, I have a different melon. That's that's like something else. Okay, so can't make that. Wait, were there any other recipes here? So we have a tomamello salad and a potamello salad. <laughs> I don't have any potatoes yet though, so we'll have to wait there. And, um, hmm. Tom, tom, tomatoma or tomatoma? I would say tomatoma for like tomato. Okay, nothing there. Can we make anything with the watermelon that we found? Goodness gracious. I need to get some dessert recipes. I don't have any of those. Let's go to the sprites this morning and see if they can give us um, any new recipes. That'd be good. Mm. Hi, Andrew, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Oh wait, you must have been you must have been hungry again. Wait, what happened? What am I missing? I'm back, Twitch was bullying me. No, Ace, do I need to have a word with them? Was it like not letting you into the app? What was going on? Hey, Pooey. Oh, try that again. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The weather is growing much warmer, yes. So I'm pretty sure that yesterday I gave him a fish. But he didn't, he didn't have that dialogue of like, oh, I love the meal that you gave me yesterday. So, um, a wild weird shroom is growing here. I don't think I've ever seen that prompt before. It's because I was holding something. I was like, why can't I go in here? <laughs> um, but yeah, he didn't say anything today. So maybe the specific fish I gave him, he didn't like. Want to learn a new recipe? You know it. Car Carpaccio? Why does it sound like a pasta dish? Hey, I'll take the Carpaccio. Maybe it is. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, when you nommed your produce? Yeah, yeah, I was just like a little bit famished. <laughs> I am curious like how much like a raw like watermelon would sell for. Another thing that I didn't like check on too. I was wondering if our watermelons would regrow, but no. We've got like so many empty spots here. Oh, it's kind of killing me. I kind of want to go and buy some more seeds, but like also like a new season's gonna start up in like two days. So maybe I'll, I'll go and see like what autumn seeds there would even be. Um, hang on. I was coming back to my farm for a reason. Uh, why was I coming back here? <laughs> I'm completely blanking now. <laughs> I was thinking I needed to like cook something else, but I'm like, no, I don't think I need to do that. Why was I coming back here? 
Oh, lost audio. Oh, heck. Kind of hard to watch streams without that. Watermelon prices, Wonderland, you're the best. Thank you. It was kind of food related then. And I've always wished, I always wished that like Twitch had like built in um, closed captioning. Um, Cause there are like some external um, things that you can like do for it, but they're like kind of complicated to like get running and like use. Like you have to like have open like a browser source and it like captures like your mic through that. And like, I always like wish that there was like some kind of like extension, maybe even for like OBS where you could just like do it through there. Um, yeah. Um, or just again, that Twitch had something like that. Cause like YouTube can like auto generate captions. So, you know, I always wondered like, why, why doesn't Twitch have something like that, you know? One watermelon sells for 195. Oh, it kills me that I accidentally ate one. Oh, but that's nice. That's real nice. Cause I think I bought the seeds just for um, 60. So yeah, you make a really decent profit there. Holy moly. Should I just like sell my watermelon since I don't even have like a recipe to turn them into anyway? Every everyone uh, playing farming games accidentally eating something you didn't intend to sounds about right. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I'm just gonna like sell those. Um, so I don't have anything to make them into right now. I mean, like, could I get some watermelon, like, recipes down the road? Yeah, but... <sighs> we can grab stuff back out of there if if we change our mind today. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay, all right. So, um... Let's... First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how many... Um open spots I have over here for new crops. So we have five here and then oh, one, two, three, four. So 34, we have 39 empty spots total. I just wanted to kind of like count those up in case I do buy more seeds today. And if we don't, we'll definitely buy some more seeds in a, in a couple days. Hi, Wade. Hey, Ghosty. Nice to see you. It was so good to uh, hang out with you yesterday. I'm so glad to see you again today. Just blessing me over here. How has Wednesday been for you so far? Hi, Vesta. Nice to see you. Hey. Good morning. Our crops are all organic. I gotcha. Um, I actually do want to look at your stock today. So watermelon seeds do indeed grow from spring to summer. So like I, I could get some more. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I can afford 39 of them though. <laughs> we'll see how many we can get. I, I can actually afford 39 of them. Like slightly more? No way. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> I'm done shopping for now. I barely have any money left. <laughs> We will also um, give a gift to Vesta while we're here. There you go, Vesta. Well, well, I really like what you got there. Help yourself. It was nice to meet you, Wade, in community and mods. I must go uh, work, so I shall lurk. Appreciate the lurks. And it was really nice to meet you too, Mitchie. I hope that we get to hang out again soon. Hope that work goes well for you today. That's why it's nice in Stardew. Uh, it asks if you want to eat instead of uh, just shoving the food in your face. I will agree with that because yeah, there's been plenty of times in Stardew where I have accidentally like almost eaten something. <laughs> and the game's like, you wanna do this? I'm like, no, <laughs> thanks for asking. 
Vesta puts love and care into her crops than anyone I know. That's why all of her produce tastes so good. I don't have any money to buy anymore, but thank you, ma'am. We do have a flower for you, though. Hope you enjoy it. I don't think she's, like, mentioned about, like, in, like the uh, flowers being her favorite at all, though. <laughs> How nice. Oh, I wasn't trying to give you another, but I'm glad that you liked it. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too, Matthew. I love the marinade that I got from you. Good stuff. All right. Adding marinade to Matthew's list. I got to put them on the list first. Because I don't know how to keep track of their favorite stuff otherwise. Okay. All right. So, so far I know favorites for Charlie, Gavin, Matthew, Pui, and Sebastian. But for Pui, it, it definitely must have been like some specific fish. Or maybe some kind of cooked dish, but he just didn't mention what it was, like, the next day. Um, it was the last one that I gave him. I don't think he was as crazy about. I don't think there's any more flowers down here, but I'll go and check. I guess we could go and do some, um, some mining today, because I didn't get to do that yesterday. Yeah, that would be nice. Let's go and do that. If they're still there. Hopefully they will be. You look like a star today? Oh shucks. Am I a shiny star? <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. I hope you're doing well. I am. Thanks. Yeah, it's been um like really like nice and sunny today. Been enjoying returning to a wonderful life. No complaints, no complaints. Hope your day has been good. Hi Carter, glad to still see you here. How are things? Just the person I hope to see. Yes, I am here to help. I probably should have talked to Flora beforehand, but maybe I still can now. Mm -hmm. That looks like we can, thank goodness. Something the matter? No, I was just hoping to help. Every day we dig and dig. It might seem like a daunting task, but it's actually a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoy what you do. We're talking about the digging. It reminded me of uh, that song in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Ooh, what'd we find? Hmm. Found a stone tablet with glyphs on it. All right, Carter, if you tell me that this is of no archaeological significance, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I like when farming games have their own personal likes and dislikes list. Yeah, Coral Island has... Oh, does Coral Island have that too? I was saying earlier that I know um, Portia and Sandrock have that, and, and I always really enjoyed that as well. I really want to return to um, Coral Island. I've just kind of been like thinking of um, waiting to play it again until the full release, because I played it right when it first came out. And it, it did have a, a pretty surprising amount of, of content, even at that point. I'd say like um, one of the biggest things that was missing at that point was like a lot of like unfinished like um, textures and, and buildings and, and areas and that kind of stuff. So it'll be really nice to, to get back to it. I don't know if they've set like a, a full release date. Something peculiar. I think this is like the clay figurine that we gave to um, Gordo before. All right, Carter, I'm done. Sometimes I don't want to tap out and find a wiki uh, to figure out what my favorite character wants, right? I'm trying to figure out um, as much as I can on my own with this one, um, you know, what the people like. Like if like you guys in chat like said anything, like I, I wouldn't mind that, but like I'm trying to avoid like looking at like a wiki, you know? Mm, hope your day is good uh, work-wise, and I'm playing only up. That sounds really familiar, but I don't think I'm like, uh, I don't think I know what the premise of it is, Andrew. What kind of, what kind of game is it? Admiral, nice to see you. Doing some digging we were. Will it be enough for Carter today? My word, what's this? Something appears to be inscribed on it. Why, this could be a key to Forgotten Valley's ancient civilization. We finally found something that 
Uh, Papa Carter approves of. May I take it off your hands for the time being? Absolutely. I don't know if that'll do anything for us. Maybe give me like a, a, an achievement, but there appears to be nothing else of archeological value here, I figured. We finally got his seal of approval at least once. <laughs> That's all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. Hey, Wade. Oh, Ace. Tagakura left a note in the living room if you want to take a look. Yeah, let's see what it says. I brought you a new animal. Check the coop when you get a chance, Takakura. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right, guys. <clears throat> you know the drill. This is our first chickie, and um, she's a little lady. So, for anybody who doesn't know, whenever we get a new critter in games, uh, I take suggestions from you guys on what to name it. If we have enough name suggestions, I will put them in a poll. Let me know what you think. What should be the name of our little lady chicky? All such cute name options, right? I think Sunny was a really good one, though. <laughs> All right, Sunny it is. There we go. Awesome. Precious little Sunny. So it's interesting. He delivered it like kind of like halfway through the day. I want to say it, it may have been exactly 24 hours from when we placed the order for the chickie. So that's good to know. We'll probably have um, the order for our other chickie earlier tomorrow. And look at our flowering tree here. And is our, our bananas ready? Can we get some out? Maybe they're not quite ready yet. Oh, but they're close. They're close. Oh, I'm super excited for that. Okay, all right. Yeah, and we got some stuff coming along here too. So I'm glad that we came back to the farm because I got a bunch more watermelon seeds that we need to plant. Luckily, I don't need to worry about like retilling these spots. Like, so that's really nice. I'm excited to see like what kind of profit we're gonna make overnight from all the other watermelon that we sold. And I know that these spots still have a decent amount of water, it looks like, but I might go ahead and water them again. So I wouldn't want them to get like unwatered. We can probably, um, we can probably milk, um, Bessie here again in a moment too. <clears throat> Friends of Mineral Town on Game Pass will come with the cow outfit. Oh man, that's so cute. <laughs> the horses look so derpy in this game. Oh man, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> you can hold down the plant button for you to plant more than one wolf howl. No way. Wait, did I waste some just, just now? It like kind of, I didn't, wasn't expecting her to throw them. I was expecting it to just like move from one to the next one. We'll find out if it wasted any. <laughs> Cause I bought just enough to fill in this entire field. Actually, I don't think it wasted any. Yeah, okay, all right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Thank you for telling me about that. It only filled tilled spots. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for letting me know. I had no idea about that. I feel like I'm like learning all the hacks right now. That's fantastic. I was wondering why these spots here were like so dark colored. I guess because it was raining earlier and it like retained the water, which is super nice. So maybe, maybe I'll be okay without watering. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Can you do the same thing with the watering can is the question. I kind of doubt it, but... No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, just thought I'd try it. 
Ooh, and while I'm thinking about it, um, before we continue watering these, let me go and milk Bessie. Also say hi to Takakura. Hi, Takakura. Oh, can I talk to you? There we go. Hey, kid, how's it going? Cows don't give milk all the time, you know. If they're about to give birth, you can't milk them. After they give birth, though, they'll give you more milk than usual for a little while. Keep that in mind as you raise your cows. Thank you, sir. Speaking of milk, we'll do this. Oh, not that. Oh, I've got my watering can. No wonder it's not working. <laughs> Why can't I water this cow? <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> she was looking a little thirsty. Get this herb all over here too and get back to our waterings. Uh, oh, and I'm glad that we are because yeah, those just drink up a bunch of water. Perfect timing. Thankfully seeds can't be wasted in this game, I think, unless like I, ate some. I don't know if you could actually do that in this game, but I tend to accidentally eat a lot of things. So I could I could see it happening. I figured it out today and I was like, whoa, you were like a lifesaver. I'll have to remember that in the future. Thank you again for letting me know how. Got uh, two conflicting dates for Friends in Mineral Town. Google says tomorrow. Game Pass says today. The fact that like Game Pass says today, I would I would suspect today. But also like, it's already like you know kind of getting later in today too. So I wonder like what time it's supposed to be today. Oh my MG, your cow's name is Bessie. Mine's Bella. Bessie and Bella. I love it. Yeah, so um, Bessie was another one of our animals that uh, chat named. The only um, animal that I named myself was my doggo, because I named it after my own doggo named Finnegan. Speaking of Finnegan. He's a... Uh, right over here. Oh, there's the Finnegan butts. Hang on. For anybody who hasn't met my boy, that's my boy right there. He's very sleepy. He's a big, big sleepy puppy right now. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> this is highlighting yellow. Does that mean it's ready to harvest? It is. I thought I tried to harvest it earlier today, but maybe I didn't. Or maybe it wasn't ready until like this time of day, possibly. I'm really glad that it's like a different color when you can harvest it. Oh, same with these two, nice. Do we have some potatoes? Oh, I'm so happy we have potatoes because I think we had like a few recipe that, a few recipes that could use those. It's kind of killing me that we have like some more open spots now because, well, I was about to say we could have purchased some more melon seeds, but we really didn't have a whole lot of money. So honestly, I don't really think that we could have, um, yeah. Okay, but we will um, finish up watering these. Oh, didn't mean to water that. Oh, kind of worked out because I didn't have any water anyway. Suck on that game. <laughs> Mm, I was just looking at my stamina. I don't think I have enough stamina to, uh, yeah, to water anymore. Will they be okay until the morning? Uh, I am not sure. Um, oh. Hello, Rain. <laughs> that timing was impeccable. <laughs> the weather gods are like, oh, you running out of stamina? I got you, fam. No worries. Ooh, um, let's spend a little bit of our remaining time and see about um, maybe giving out some, some gifts to people. If anybody's still awake. It is already like 9.30. I want to see if I can get into Gustafa's house. He is a precious baby indeed. 
Oh, we can go in. Heck yeah. I love all the colors. Hi, Gustafa. Hey. hey there. Take it easy, friend. Smells good, right? I've got some incense burning. I feel like Gustafa is very much an incense kind of guy. And, and a flower. And a flower guy. Hey, that looks nice. Is it for me? It sure is. Oh, seriously? I owe you one. No woeies. No woeies at all. Okay, um, so what can I examine here? These drums are called ta tabla. I don't know if I said that right. A few miniature instruments decorate the top of this chest. He's got like min instruments like everywhere in here. He's got like a whole freaking orchestra. Well, pretty nice digs, right? It's pretty nice in here. Done a very pleasant, uh, very swell job, sir. Gustavo's favorite guitars. Aww. Is that my friend Crystal? Crystal, we were talking about you a bit earlier and your playthrough of this game. How was a wonderful life for you today? I hope it was great. When I was um, watching your stream a bit earlier and, and lurking in there to avoid some spoilers and stuff, it seems like you were making some really good progress. Like you were um, at the beginning of summer at that point. I think, I think so. Um, for me, I am at the end of spring right now, but welcome in guys. Bookmaster, welcome in. Affection, nice to see you friend. Hey, Crystal, of course. Isabel, welcome in. Nice to see you too. And guys, thanks for welcoming in our Raider friends as well. Anyone who's new here, hi, my name's Wade. We have been playing A Wonderful Life as well. Um, the original game, um, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and Another Wonderful Life 20 years ago um, was my favorite childhood game. So been loving this game so far and really glad to have you guys along for the journey. It's been so nice and cozy. I'm so glad that you've been enjoying it, friend. For anybody who just came over from Crystal stream, tell me what was your favorite thing about her uh, stream today? And um, Crystal, if you need to step away, get you any noms, drinks, stretches, please make sure to do so. Take care of yourself, friend. And um, Buckmaster, thanks so much for the follow as well. I really appreciate that. So we uh, just entered Gustav's house for the first time. Um, because every time I tried to come here before, he wasn't in here. But we got a nice, cozy, rainy, rainy evening. So we did catch him. And I'm glad we did because he has a recipe. Two fruits and a tomato. Uh, make one heck of a tasty salad. Learn the recipe for the question marks. Oh, so I don't think I can make those quite yet. I tried to before and it was like, your, your skill is not high enough. So I don't know if I just need to make like more recipes to raise my skill or or what the deal is. Cool kid, welcome in. How are you? Your voice is really lovely. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's all right right now until I start getting real croaky. And then I sound like a like a, like an old grandpa or something. <laughs> Hi Gordy, nice to see you. I'm speaking of which, I do need to get some tea soon. Hopefully that'll keep the the vocal cords lubricated. Oh? What's up? Just come in to say hello. I would give you a gift right now, but he's not going to take it since he has his arms crossed. And he's. I was hoping if he moved around that he would, like, stop uh, doing that. <laughs> but nope. <laughs> it is, like, 1045, so probably a lot of people are going to be asleep right now. I could probably go see Molly and Gavin at the bar. But otherwise, we'll probably just go get some sleep. Oh, and no surprise, Rock is here. No. Hi, Rock. Come here often. No. I tried that dish I got from you, and you know what? Not too bad. Thanks for the hookup. I gave him marinade, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put marinade on his list. He didn't like mention a specific dish, so I kind of wonder if it's just like any dish that he would like. But I'm I'm gonna put marinade on here. Also, cool kid, thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate you too. I'm just about halfway through summer now. Affection, you've made some great progress. GG. Hoping to get to fall today. I'm super excited for fall in this game. Autumn's my favorite season, so I, I feel like it's gonna be very cozy for sure. Cat was pressed uh, on my legs. Uh, now have uh, cat prints all over. Precious. Kind of looks like a cool tattoo. <laughs> totally intended. 
you looking to buy something? So I don't think I've, um, have I figured out any of Gavin's favorites yet? He liked one of the fish I gave him before. I just don't know what fish it was. Here in Forgotten Valley, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum. I think we've heard that one before. Mm -hmm. Come on in and take a load off. When you're feeling worn out, a nice refreshing drink is just a thing to perk you up. I just don't have the money to. <laughs> Everything on the menu is original recipe. I got you. So I don't think I've figured out any of Molly's uh, favorite things either, but she likes flowers well enough. So I've been giving her a lot of those and they're easy enough. Hey, would you like to marry in this playthrough? I think I'm gonna go for Gordy. Since he wasn't available uh, to marry in Another Wonderful Life, um, back with the original games, I think it would be nice to, you know, experience something new with, with this one. So yeah, that's who I'm thinking of going for. And oh my gosh, is Bessie still out here? Bessie, no! <laughs> I always forget to put my cow in when it starts raining. Oh. She was fine last time she was out in the rain for a little while. Hopefully she'll be okay this time. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bessie. I'm just not a good cow mama. I need to do better. I know. I know. Let me give you some, some brushes. Oh, hopefully that'll keep her okay. I'm hoping so. Oh, I was also hoping to uh get home before midnight, but... Just barely missed it. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we will save and then we'll sleep. I have another cozy rainy day, which I am I am here for, and it's our last day of spring. So let's start it out by going into the barn. Lucky, luckily, Bessie is in here now. How's Bessie feeling? She's doing fine. Good. So I've like left, left her out like in the rain like a little bit like twice now and I feel so bad. <laughs> so kind of like pleasantly, pleasantly surprised to see that she, you know what, I was about to say pleasantly surprised to see that she hasn't gotten sick. But like I don't think I've even seen a space for us to like buy animal medicine if we needed it. So yeah, that's probably for the best that she hasn't gotten sick. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Give her some nice brushes there and can I have some milk from you, Bessie? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate you. Alrighty. So we'll go back out here. Let's see if there are any more crops or trees ready for us. That banana tree looks like really close to being ready, but it wasn't quite ready yesterday. I'm assuming like I don't have to shake it a, a bunch. I, I would assume if it's ready, then yeah. So I think it's just not ready yet. So, um, let's go over here. We'll take this handy dandy herb. And yeah, um, looks like our, our garden is just kind of like from scratch again, since I um, picked all of those watermelons. I'm so tempted to buy some more for those empty spots there. Um, oh, I just thought about something too. So yesterday we sold a bunch of watermelons. Do I have the profits for those today? Oh, we did get another wonder. The Lost Remnants. You discovered the first stone tablet. I was hoping we would get something from that. You found four wonders so far. Awesome. Oh, and soft feathers. You obtained one bird. Five wonders so far. And I oh, we got some fodder and some bird feed that we ordered. Cool, cool. So about like the watermelons that we sold, how would we like get like the profits for those or do those like automatically go to us? How can I see my, my money? Um, I guess one way that I could see it is going to the ledger over here. Okay, so it didn't automatically go to us because I only have 174 money. How do I get the profits from my watermelons? How do we get those? Does anybody know? 
your in-game outfit is so cute, by the way. Thank you. I, I just recently came across this Muka Muka outfit, um, and I'm kind of digging it. It might be a little warm for spring. We might have to switch it up for summertime, but yeah. How is Sunny? Wonderland, I'm glad you mentioned Sunny. We got to give some food to Sunny. Oh my gosh. They probably like starved yesterday. Bless their hearts. <laughs> Sunny, are you okay? Are you all right? Looks healthy and content. I'm glad to hear it. Can we um, brush Sunny too? Gotta get used to the fact that I have a chicken now. We'll also go into our bag and get the bird feed and we'll put that there. All right, there we go. Precious little thing, you. Let's see if we can, if we can brush her. Doesn't seem like we can brush her. So I guess that's just for the big animals. You like this brush? Do you see it? She's like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> All right, back out we go. And you can let the um, the birds outside too when it's a nice day. Thank you guys so much for all the welcome bags. I appreciate you. Uh, from what I heard, they got rid of that mechanic. Also, um, how helpful do you want chat to be? Um, just so I don't try to be helpful and spoil uh, something. I really appreciate you, Buckmaster. Um, I'd say like if it's something that I um, feel like I need help on, if I'm like struggling somewhere, I'll definitely ask you guys. But aside from that, like I'm, I'm trying to play um, pretty blindly. So thank you so much for asking. I appreciate it. Amber is welcome in. I hope you're having a nice day. And thank you too, Rob. Also, Nick, welcome in. I hope you're having a good one. This game is so cozy. I love it. I'm glad that you've been enjoying it too. For anybody who may just be coming in, um, who are you guys pursuing in the game, character-wise? You get the money in the box where you picked up your, oh, where you picked up the hay and bird feed. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get it then. So maybe it's just not ready today. Maybe we'll, we'll get it later hard to say. So I really would like to get um, another, another, um, another ch chicky, another, another cow, a sheep maybe. But again, I'm kind of waiting on the sheep because I think I would need shears for the sheep and I don't have those yet. Genuine question of people in chat. Is there a way for me to get like shears right now? Or like, is do I have to like wait until like next month or something? So we have strawberries now. Those sell for 105. Honestly, can't even remember what we paid uh, for them in seeds. And then potatoes, which sell for 180. Wow. Interesting. How much did we t uh, pay for potato seeds? Because I feel like the the amount you sell that for was pretty close to the watermelons. The watermelons were like 195, something like that. Can I make any more recipes now? So I do have the stuff for this one, but I don't think I have the skill for it. Or maybe I do. Cause like the last time I tried to make something like this, it told me you don't, you, you like you, your skill is not high enough, something like that. I'm really worried that I'm gonna mess this up. Let me let me just like save before I do anything. And if I like sincerely screw up, then then maybe we can just load it. <laughs> oh, and that's right, we learned carpaccio too. So carpaccio is a salad, a fresh fish dressed with sharp herb-based sauce. So I I do have the stuff for that too. I would like to try and make at least one to see like what the profit would be. So a little wakasagi I think would sell for like 20. Um, you know what, hang on, before I make anything, let's, let's find out for sure what that and the herb would sell for. So this would sell for 35, this would sell for 20. So separately we could get, or excuse me, 55 for, both of them together. Just kind of want to find out if like this would give me a good like profit margin on on it. Okay. Um. So then, 
I think we'll have to go back to that thing to see how much it would. Okay, we saved, we saved. Um, I, I saved right before I made that. <laughs> I needed to change my, um, my, my mouse binding for that. <laughs> I keep accidentally eating things. <laughs> Safety saves for the win. Yeah, I've learned my lesson in the past. <laughs> that wasn't even why I was safety saving, but it ended up working out beautifully. Okay, um, so I, I've got something bound to left mouse button that I don't, that is screwing me up. Use tool item. I need to change that to not be that. <laughs> um. Maybe we can change talk and interact to left click. And then, yeah, I guess I guess middle mouse button is fine. And I'll just use E to use items from now on. <sighs> oh, that was great. Rob, did you finish Baba's You Nice! Achievements done! GG! I hope that you enjoyed it, man. It sounds like you did. That, uh, I gotta take care of a few chores. Be back in a bit. Take your time, man. Okay. Alright. Hi! <clears throat> I'm gonna go over here and... Um... Uh, oh, would you look at that! Carpaccio! Why don't we try making this dish for the very first time? Definitely have not ever before. Okay, all right, Carvajal. Let's go out here and we are gonna see how much it's worth. <laughs> okay, so individual herb and fish together were 55. This is, oh. It only sells for 35. That's gross. Yeah, we're not making too many of those. I mean, somebody might like them as a gift, but they're just gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, we had that mystery dish too. Let me save again before I make that. Okay. And then we'll go back over here. We'll see if it'll allow me to make that. Um, okay, so potato and milk. I'm just gonna make one for now. Make this dish, uh, yeah. Will it let me make the mystery dish? Ooh, you made mashed potatoes! Oh! It did let me make it. And I was wondering if it was always going to be like a question mark name on it. We learned how to make, oh, that's so nice. So if I go in here now, does it actually show the name? It does, that's awesome. Also, I would just like to note that it categorizes mashed potatoes as a salad. Um, so if anybody's looking to do some healthy eating out there, do I have the dish for you? Boiled potatoes mixed with milk and mashed into a creamy side dish goes well with almost any entree. Really curious how much that'll sell for. And yeah, we got this mystery recipe as well. It's two fruits and a vegetable. Hmm. Anything else that I could maybe do? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Mmm, that was soup. What about hors d'oeuvres? You aren't, okay, so this one I'm not skilled enough for yet, but we were able to make the, the other one. So I guess maybe if I just keep cooking, maybe we'll become skilled enough. Hopefully so. All right, so let's um go out here and see what the, the deal with the mashed potatoes are. Okay, so for the mashed potatoes, we used a potato and a milk. Together, those would be worth, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 305 gold. How much is this worth? 
3.30, wow. Okay, so you do profit 25 from each of, 25 from each of those. Okay, um. I was wondering to myself if it would be like better worth um, making that or the milky soup. But with the higher quality milk that we have now, that's also only gonna profit 25. So yeah, I'd say like, let's use up our potatoes to make some some very delicious and healthy mashed potatoes. <laughs> and um, then we'll probably make some, some more milky soup too. Maybe I'll hang on to the rest of the milk. I mean, cause like I, I could open up my own shop today, but I don't know how many buyers we'd get since it's like rainy anyway. I don't know if that's how it works, but yeah. All right, so we'll make four of those. Cool beans, cool beans. How's my tea now? Not too hot. Okie dokie, all right, we learned a new recipe. That makes me super happy. Okay, so um, it's almost 10 a.m. I have not been into town yet, so let's, um, I think, go to the sprites first. And we'll see if they have any new recipes for us. Yummy mashed potatoes would be better if it had butter. I remember I loved mashed potatoes as a kid. Um, whenever, so my, uh, my grandma, the one that passed away this past uh, January, bless her heart. Um, whenever I would go to visit her, she would always like cook for me or, or make me some kind of snack. She was the best cook. And she was like one of those types of people too. Like if she found out that you liked something of hers that she made, she would make it for you like all the time. So she found out that I, I liked her mashed potatoes. Um, and so literally like every time that I would see her, <laughs> like, um, like, every every other weekend um she would make me like this like huge container of mashed potatoes <laughs> and they were really good they were really good but they were not good for me <laughs> especially when i found out later in life um how intolerant i am to dairy um and it's like oh that's what was causing me to go to the hospital time and time again <laughs> but they were good they were very tasty <laughs> But yeah, grandma definitely didn't do any vegan cooking. Want to learn a new recipe? Absolutely. We got a recipe for stew. Who is this stew fellow you speak of? I do really wish that you could view your recipes like from this tab menu, but I don't think there's anywhere that you can. At least that I found. So it'd be nice if they added in something like that. I don't know what their plans are to like update this game, if at all. How open they are to community feedback, but I guess only time will tell. Um, Amber, have you been playing Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town? How have you been liking it? That's when I, I played when it first came out, but I haven't finished it, so I need to go back to it at some point. Got a lot of flowers down here too. Put that away, put you away. I'm not crazy about what I have bound to my put away button. I have it as you right now. It's definitely not the most comfy thing. Hmm. Put it away. Maybe I can change that. So I've got pick up as enter right now. So maybe I could do that as like backslash since that's like right above it. That might be a little more comfy. Try that. It's gonna like take some, some getting used to. I like almost like went for, for the U again. Hmm. 
Let me try one more thing. Thanks for bearing with me, friends. Just trying to make it a little comfortable for my fingies. Um, so instead of that, maybe I'll try... Oh, really? It won't let me do that? Well, never mind then. I was going to try um, to have it as... Um, what would you call it? Uh, like the apostrophe that's like right beside enter, but it wouldn't let me do it. So I guess backslash it is. <laughs> Still a little better than than uh, reaching over for you. Also, Ambers, thanks so much for thanking our mods. I appreciate you. Went for the you again. Oh. Hey kid, I brought you a new animal. Come over. Don't mind if I do. We'll come back for the flowers. Say hello to the newest member of your livestock family. Oh, and you may as well give a name while you're at it. So this one, we got a rooster, right? This is a male chicky. I'm pretty sure he got a, a, a male chicky. All right, guys, you know the drill. For anybody who wants to suggest a name for our rooster, let me know what you think. What should be the name of it? Um, so this is our second chicky now. We have a, a, a hen already and her name is Sunny. So what should be the name of our, our first rooster? Oh, oh, by a couple votes, Rob is our winner. <laughs> Rob will be very pleased indeed. Who was it that suggested Rob? It was Wonderland. Ro uh, Wonderland, thank you so much for suggesting Rob. Everybody uh, who suggested names, thank you guys so much. And everybody who voted in that poll too, I really appreciate you. Rob is our winner. Rob the, Rob, Rob the rooster. Hey, that's some nice alliteration there. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. Rob, good choice. Takakura uh, approves of you guys' choice. Take good care of this one, right? Will do. Also in reality, you don't wanna have multiple roosters as, oh, they'll, they'll fight. That makes sense. Go say hi to Rob the rooster. Hi, Rob. He like he, he looks like so similar to like our hens, but like they're what would you call the red tuft thing? It's a little little bit like bigger. Rob is pretty energetic today. Let's give him some snuggles. All right, and then we'll set you down. Apparently, the set down is the same as the um the put away button. So I'm gonna have to get used to that being backslash now too. Okay, all right. <gasps> Question, do we have our watermelon money now? Ooh. <gasps> oh, I got an achievement. Made 10,000 gold. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Um, you found six of the wonder so far. 5,400 from those watermelons. I think we sold 28 of them. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we have enough money to... We have enough money to um, buy another animal, possibly. Um... Uh... Uh, is it Cal Calpol? Am I saying your name right? I'm afraid that's... Wait, what? Hang on. Hold up. Can, can I maybe see over here? Uh... No, Rob's a rooster. He's a boy. He's not a hen. Scared me. So, we have 5,600 right now. I could afford a bull. So we can maybe do that. Um, We can afford a sheep, but again, I don't know if it would even be worth it for me to get a sheep right now because like I don't have shears. I don't know if there's a way for me to get shears in the game right now. Although it says a young, young, how do you pronounce it? You, you? Uh, that will reach maturity and give wool in a few days. So it takes like a full day's 
a full day for it to even get to us. Um, and then it sounds like it's gonna take a few days for it to even grow wool. So maybe by that point, I'll be able to like buy shears from Van or something. Oh, and, and don't worry about the shears? Okay, all right, good to know. Thank you, Buckmaster, I appreciate it. Hmm. Um, well, how about we, we get a, a sheep then? I don't have a sheep yet. Um, and so right now we have a female chickie, a male chickie, and a female cow. So maybe we can like kind of keep that even Steven and get a male sheep. I think we'll do that. Oh, and we can choose where it's gonna be. Oh, um. I'll put it over here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll put you over there, I think. Okay, all right. Order the sheep, let's do it. <sighs> okay. If you do, you can name him Wolbert. <laughs> it would fit. Hey, Alpha, nice to see you. How are you? It was good to see you uh, join our Discord. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a really nice Wednesday. I am good on feed. Can't really afford any facilities right now. I'm just so happy that we got that watermelon money. That was juicy. Technically, we have a lot of money left over, so I might um, go and buy some more seeds. <laughs> we have... Um, are these empty here? Crop seeds can be planted in the field. The soil is pretty fertile. Okay. I was just wondering why like some of these spots had the leaves on them and then some of them don't. Does anyone know why? Why? All right, so there's watermelon already planted here. So we have one, two, eight, nine, ten open spots, it looks like. I might potentially buy some more watermelon. We definitely would be able to afford it too. Oh, cutscene. What's going on? What's crackalagging? Oh, this is so nice. Mm hmm. I'm on top of the world today. Hey, yeah, you got a second? <laughs> nope, sorry. <laughs> Imagine. Sure. I'm feeling groovy today. Like every chord I strum is pitch perfect, and this weather, nothing better. It is a really nice day. You ever get days like that where it feels like nothing could ever go wrong? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> I'll just say, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, you dig it. Good to know there's someone else like me out there. Hey, since we're on the same wavelength and all, or the wade length, <laughs> if you catch my drift, how about I give you a gift of a song? Yes, please. You in? I'm totally in. All the way. I'm ready for this. I like how she just like squatted down. There's like literally like a stump right there that she could sit on. <laughs> Let's hear a tale before we part. I'm not even gonna try to sing this. I don't wanna kill you guys ear holes. About an apple sweet and tart. With just one bite, they say it might. Grant the wish inside your heart. So wholesome. Ah woo. <laughs> I loved it. That was great, man. That's a good stopping point for today. I'll let you hear the rest some other time. Sounds good. A little, little teaser there. I, I really like Gustafa. Like, would he like be like someone that I like would go for? Like, like personally? Like, no. But like, friend wise, like I think he's great. And like, he just like always seems like so nice. And it's like, what more could you ask for? Matthew, you doing okay over here, man? Hey, this has got to be the best season of the year. It's finally getting warm out. Well, I got bad news for you, man. It's ending tomorrow. <laughs> I 
I hope you enjoyed it though. <laughs> um, so I think before our new chickie arrived, I think we were over here picking flowers. I'm also going to take a moment to turn on my fan because it's getting pretty spicy in here. Do that, that's better. Um, can't wait for Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Yeah, coming to um, Game Pass tomorrow, right? I did not play uh, that one um, back on the original uh, GBA. I don't think so, at least. I like, when it came to like the old school um, Harvest Moon games, I, I played like most of them, like on kind of like the, um, how would you say, like, the um, bigger consoles like, you know, GameCube and um, and Wii and that kind of stuff. PlayStation. I think a couple of them came out on PlayStation. Maybe. I'm trying to remember now. Um, but uh, not as many handheld. I do remember having like a couple handheld ones. Like I remember having like, it was like Harvest Moon, like DSQ, something like that. I think I had that one. I'm trying to remember what else. And some of like the story of seasons, like 3DS games and that kind of stuff. Hey Vesta, nice to see you. Hey! Hey there, how you doing? I was coming over here to um, maybe give you a flower. There you go. Well, well, I really like what you got there. Could I uh, take it off your hands? Help yourself, please. You're sure? Nice, thanks a lot, no worries. Mm. Oh, so what the ground looks like after depends on what I grew there. Each plant is different. Interesting. Good to know. Thank you for the info. All right, so what are we going to do for the remainder of the day? I feel like I haven't seen uh, Romana in a while and like Sebastian, even Lumina, even Nami as well. So maybe we can say hello to them. Don't really have like a whole lot of gifts for them right now, but... Do you remember the milky soup I got from you? That's one of my favorites. Actually, you're seriously a good cook, Wade. Thank you so much. I really slaved over that that milky soup. <laughs> I'm gonna add that to um, my list of favorite dishes for people. So Nami likes milky soup. That is easy enough to make. I could... Do I have any milky soup on me right now? I might need to make some more. One of her favorites. Definitely good to know. Um, I do not have any milky soup on me right now. I'm kind of tempted to go home right now and make some. I think I might do it after we give a flower to Molly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one was on GameCube. Yes, yeah, it was uh, my favorite back in the day. I loved it. This um, and... Animal Parade were my were my favorite Harvest Moon games. So I'd love to see a remake of that one at some point too. But that was like a little... I don't know what year Animal Parade came out. Because that one was on Wii. And I know it came out after tra uh, Tree of Tranquility. There he is now. Hang on. What year did Harvest Moon Animal Parade come out? 2008. All right, so this game came out originally in 2003. So would it be safe to say 2028 we'll get a Harvest Moon Animal Parade remake? I mean, if we get it sooner, that'd be great, but if, if it's going kind of with the, the flow of, you know, the, the time we had to wait for this game, maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but that's good to know. She's going to be my wife. Does, does Nami have any say in this matter? <laughs> I just gave her a bunch of fossils. Yeah, no, milky soup. That, that's apparently the way to go with her. You just made my day, no worries. I don't think I figured out any favorites for Molly though. All right, so let's go back. Let's make some more milky soup. 
say hi to Takakura too. I, I don't think I figured out anything that he likes yet, but I kind of would guess that he would probably, probably like like a home cooked meal as well. So maybe we can try that with him too. It's possible, I'm hoping so. All right, milky soup, my favorite. So do this, do that, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make seven of them. Ooh, you know what? It's good that we're back here at the farm because I can probably milk Bessie again anyway. Is this a, uh, a remaster or OG? No, not the OG. The OG came out in 2003, so a hot minute ago. But yeah, this is like a a um, like a full remake of of that game. They like redid like all the, the characters, textures, and everything. Well, Bessie, are you a little bit hungry? Bless your heart. I'm so sorry. Uh, I would like to put this here, but you're kind of standing right in the way, ma'am. <laughs> All right, we got one there at least. Um, are, you, are you hungry right now? No, not hungry right now. Okay, I would like to place this one here, but you're making it a little difficult. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, let's just put, oh, I thought I was putting that, wait. Oh, I was like, how do I have 29 fodder on me? I forgot it's because we ordered some. <laughs> All right, um, oh, and now she walks away. All right, Bessie, I see you, you sassy lady, you. It's, uh, some milking. We'll head back out and see uh, who we can give some gifts to. It looked like Takakura was walking to his house and his lights are on, so yeah, here we go. Oh, never mind. But you know what? I don't know if I've really looked around in here for recipes, so let's uh, let's do some snooping. A beautiful woman is smiling in the photo with a young man. Could that be Takakura? Who was the lady, I wonder? What happened to her? Hope she's okay. Takakura might get upset if you open his fridge without permission. I mean, is he going to really notice if I, I steal like one carrot out of there? <laughs> He keeps his kitchen surprisingly tidy. He left a note on the counter. Easy, delicious soup recipe. One egg. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just, that's just like an egg, <laughs> not soup, but what do we think it would be? Like egg drop soup or something? So it's another one of those like question recipes. I wonder if I have the, the skill to make that right now. Kinda wanna go try it. So I do have five eggs. Oh, <laughs> do you think he noticed me walking out of his house just now? I hear they're selling a new contraption in the city you might like. It's called a seed maker. Apparently all you gotta do is stuff a crop or two into the machine and it'll give you seeds just like that. Let me know if you wanna order one. Oh, I didn't mean to approach him again. Hey kid, you doing all right? Cows don't give milk all the time, you know. If they're about to give birth, you can't milk them. Oh, we've heard this from before. Thanks, buddy. Um, can I? Like, struggling to like click on things right now. I. Oh, here we go. So we actually can order a seed maker for thirty thousand. Installs a convenient machine that'll turn a single crop into two bags of seed. So that's good to know. I feel like I need to like save up for this. <laughs> that would be really nice to have. But I also, there's like so many, um, so many cows that I still don't have either. Okay, so I have some, um, some milky soup on me right now. Um, I would like to try to give him. Mm -hmm. What's you got there? It looks pretty good. Wait, is it for me? It is. He's not going to take it though since his arms are crossed. Sorry, can't, can't it wait? Kind of busy right now. How about mm -hmm. now? <laughs> There we go. Guess I'll take it then. Thanks, kid. Appreciate it. So yeah, we'll have to see what he says about that tomorrow. Um, and I really did want to try making that that uh, egg soup recipe that we found too, if it'll let me. <clears throat> it looks like it will. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna make one for now. 
kind of see like what the profits look like. I made egg soup, delicious. <laughs> it just looks like a scrambled egg or something in a cup. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's go outside and see what that looks like. Nami said yes when when I asked. I wasn't just gonna make her live with me. That's rude, Buck. I'm so happy for you guys. Happy for the happy couple. So precious. <laughs> okay, so um, one individual egg is worth 100. The egg soup is worth 80. Ooh, well, that's gross. Okay, all right. Well, um, let's. Go back into town. We'll see if we can find Nami again, since she liked that, um, that milky soup so well. It's gotten a bit later, so I don't know if she's still gonna be out here. We can check on the map, I forget about that. <clears throat> Looks like she's near the turtle pond. So yeah, let's go right over here. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Umbra, how'd you sleep? Hope you got some good rest. Everyone's in such a good mood. Um, let's make you in a good mood, hopefully too, and we'll give you some some milky soup, which is just milk. What's up with that? Oh, did you make it yourself? I did. You're welcome to have it. Huh? Well, sure, if it's cool with you. Thanks. She acted like she wasn't super excited. I know this is your favorite girl. I know what's up. <laughs> I still really want to figure out what Gordy's favorite is, since I think I'm going to try to go for him in this playthrough. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything on my list for Gordy yet. He's been a little bit difficult to figure out. Speaking of which, he's uh, over at his home right now. Twins are at home. Probably a lot of people are sleeping right now with the time. Um, okay. All right. Well, I guess we can go and chat with Gordy because I don't think he goes to sleep until later. And it's only, I guess it's only 930 right now. So yeah, let's go see. Oh, he's actually outside right now. Hi, Gordy. Yo, how are you? That looks like really painful with his neck. <laughs> when I work on my pieces, every strike to the metal has meaning. Every dent and curve is a conversation, a mutual respect for one another. <laughs> I hurt my neck just for being there for a few minutes. Oh, is he is he literally punching the metal? <laughs> Gordy, I'm considering marrying you, my dude. Like you can't you can't go Chad mode on me like this. <laughs> I also really want to give him a gift, but I don't think he's gonna accept it right now since he's busy punching metal. Okay, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I've given him milky soup before. I definitely haven't tried giving him... Let's try, let's try the egg soup. Looks like it turned out pretty well. Not well enough for you to take though, I guess. Oh man, and now he's inside. Gosh. <laughs> Do you think he would take any of my other cook dishes? Or maybe just not that one? Carpaccio? Oh, he does want the carpaccio, but he's not going to take it since his arm are arms are crossed. Let's give him a minute. Mm. The at the turtle pond, you're such a romantic. I do my best. Can I have that? Absolutely. The question is, will you take it this time? <laughs> wow, thanks. There we go. Awesome. I will have to try milky soup with him sometime. I'm not sure if I've tried that one before, but I figured I'd try one of like the lower value dishes first since the, the milky soup actually sells for some decent moolah. Okie dokie. All right. Um, so... Let's go into um, the bar here and have a cutscene. Yeah. Oh, if it isn't Wade, what are you doing here? But that's no question to ask a customer, is it? Pardon me, I um broke a plate. Three, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm such a klutz. I can't work when something's on my mind or I'll end up making a mess of it. So I thought I'd go outside to cool my head. Um, I'm here if you need to talk. Do you want me to go back in with you? 
Um, I want to say I'm here if you need to talk. Oh, I feel better just hearing you say that. Thanks. But I don't want to hold you up. You were trying to go in, weren't you? Sorry for all this. Take it easy. Enjoy the cafe. I hope I didn't, like, rush her. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> I was hoping we could, like, stay outside and have, like, a, a, a longer conversation, but... I guess she, she didn't feel really open to talking right now, and that's okay. Still have... Uh, so, I... One of the fish that I've given Gavin in the past, he loved. But, like, I don't know what fish it was, sadly. The only fish I have right now is, uh, the wakasagi. And, like, with this dialogue, it says that... It's a favorite of his, but then the next day he doesn't mention that he loved it. So I don't feel like he actually loves it. I don't feel like it's actually his favorite. I could be wrong there. I think when I've given him like artifacts and stuff like that in the past, I think he maybe liked those. I did have a like a fossil on me. I guess I could have tried that. I'll have to try that soon. I must have already given her a flower today. All right, it is 11.22, so we will head back home. We'll sleep. And yeah, tomorrow's going to be the first day of summer. I'm so excited. Oh, are we hungry? I've never gotten that prompt in game before. I've never been hungry. This is wild. I've never experienced this before. Sleep. I don't know what would fill me up exactly. Look at the pink sheepies. <laughs> hey, Wade. Hearts. Come on over here. Is that one of the sprites? Yeah. <gasps> hey, back off, Jack. It's mine. Nuh-uh. You said you didn't need it, Ace. I need it. Maybe, maybe not right now, but... Sheesh. These two have been at it for a while now. I don't know what to do. We've got to stop them somehow. Yeah, well, I was the one who found it. Finders keepers. But you said you didn't need it, so you gave it to me. Only because I didn't know I... Uh, didn't know I found a blue feather. All right, you two, enough. If you give a blue feather to someone you love, something wonderful is supposed to happen. But it won't ever happen if you two keep it for yourselves. I'm gonna give it to Wade. Yes, please. H hey, I'll put it in the box at the front of her house so she doesn't lose it. I'm probably still gonna lose it. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on. That's not fair. Aw, oh, we're getting closer to romance. Oh, it's gonna be juicy. Okie dokie, all set. Oh boy. Oh, the sprites are coming along. I'm like, where are we going? Hey, wait, do you get to be with the person you love all the time? You don't? That's so sad. The three of us are always together. That's what makes us happy. I wanted to spread the joy by giving you that blue feather. Yeah, me too. That's not what it sounded like earlier, Ace. Oh, and me. I gave it first. No, uh I did. Oh, would you two knock it off already? Oh, hey kid, I was checking around the front of your house and noticed a blue feather lying around in there. He's like, can I give it to you? <laughs> now that would be a plot twist. Takakur is really sweet though. He's a sweetheart. I probably would say yes. Those are awfully rare. Where the heck did you manage to snag one? Back in the old days, folks would give a blue feather to the person they loved to propose marriage. According to the folk tales, if you propose with one of those things, you'll be happy for the rest of your lives. I've seen them sold in the city, but they cost a fortune. To think you'd find one in Forgotten Valley? Lady Luck's looking out for you, kid. The music is so nice. Oh, oh boy. Check your stats in the menu. Oh yeah, let's do it. Am I still hungry though? Yeah, she is still hungry. There we go. That's better. 
All right, so let's go out here and experience summer. Oh, I hear the birds chirping already. And it does look like we still have some uh, some cherry blossom trees like right over there, so that's nice. It looks like a pretty day, so let's let out our chickies too. Doing okay, glad to hear it, Dor. Um, where are you going to? So, um, this uh, coming Saturday morning, me, Nick, and Finnegan are leaving pretty early uh, to start uh, driving for our trip to Minnesota, which is where he's from. And I, I lived there with him for a year before we moved back here to Virginia. Um, but we haven't been back to Minnesota in three years, so we're going back to see some family and some friends. I'm just not looking forward to the drive. It's gonna be really long. <laughs> Can we get bananas now? Oh, oh! it looks like they're like super close. Do you see them? That looks like a, a ready banana to me. And the oranges too. Can we get any of those? Let me have my fruits. <laughs> what do I need to do? Like it, I guess it's not ready, but it, it just, it looks ready. It does. What about the peaches? Can we get those? No peaches. All right. Peaches, 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 peaches. <gasps> New forageable. Let's go. What do we have? Um, we have spiral herbs. Despite how it looks, this peculiar green herb has a surprisingly mushroomy flavor to it. I want to say that um, one of our recipes called for spiral herbs. Oh, and you know what? I meant to um, go and get some more melon seeds yesterday, but I completely forgot to. I guess we still could um, today. I think it was like 10 of them that we could get. All right, so let's go in our barn, or maybe not go in the barn. Let's call Bessie out. Give her some love. Hey, Bessie, nice to see you. Looks healthy and content, good. I think I need to hold the chickies too to make sure that they're okay today. Google says Virginia to Minnesota drive is 20 hours. That's correct. And that's, that's one way too. Um, as I mentioned, not looking forward to it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be driving all day Saturday and Sunday, and then we're gonna come back the following Sunday, like driving back the following Saturday and Sunday. So we'll be there like in Minnesota for like a full like five days. So uh, long story short, no streams next week. So I'm really glad that we got to, um, that we got to start up this game before I left. Cause I would have been really sad if, if that wasn't the case. <laughs> oh, we got an egg. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sunny, you gave us your first egg. Thank you so much. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's um go see the sprites first, I guess, for a recipe. And then we'll go out and see what else we can find on this first summer day. Everything's so green now. Ooh, Umbra, 33 Fahrenheit. That is pretty chilly. I can understand uh, why, what, what you meant then. <laughs> oh, and new flowers? Oh, we do have some new flowers. What's the name of this one? These are Mist Moon Flowers, a wildflower that blooms in summer. It's fresh lemony scent lifts your spirits. Precious. Okay, all right. Kind of like blend in with like these like little, uh, like daisy-ish flowers below them. So I'm hoping I don't miss any. Okay, hopefully I got them all. Hi, Pooey. Hmm? I like the heat very little. <laughs> Popo Valley, where I'm from, does not get so uh, sweaty sticky like here. Yeah, it gets pretty sweaty sticky here too. Um, I wonder if he would like egg soup? Let me give him a little wakas wakasagi. I I want to figure out if this is one of his favorites or not. Now let's do that. 
Uh, so I got a tip on how you can know when things can be harvested. Would you like to know? Oh, Buckmaster, I have a feeling I'm, I know what you're about to say. Is it about the yellow outline? If it's not, then I have no idea. So I just thought about that too. Um, that I've seen a yellow outline around my regular crops um, when they've been ready for harvest. But yeah, that makes sense that it would be the same for the tree. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder there. Today we learned herbal soup. Well, I am picking up some new herbs, the, the spiral herb. So I wonder if I can do something with that. Maybe it's, maybe it's just an herb. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay, all right. I think I got everything from that area. I do kind of want to go back to the house and see about that new herbal soup that we just learned. And we could, I wonder if we can catch some new fishies today since it's a new season. That'll be exciting to see. I can't even imagine in 20 hours you can go around my country like three times. Yeah, the US is like really big. I think like to go from like the East Coast to the West Coast, it would be like around like double that, like 40 hours. Because Minnesota is, I mean, it's, it's North, but it's like, I think kind of like smack in the middle of the US. But north, but north. Herbal soup. So yeah, it's it's just an herb. Okay, <laughs> that's easy enough. Um, so you can't use the spiral herb on there. You have to use, I guess, an aromatic herb. So let's just do one for now, and um, we will see like what the the profit margin looks like. We might have a new. Um, recipe that we can cook for people. It looks pretty. Yeah, it's just like some soup with like some uh, some herbs on top, like some basil or something. Looks pretty. Oh, new cutscene. Oh, Nami, hi. What you doing here? Oh, uh, I'm not here for any particular reason, if that's what you're worried about. So don't mind me. Go on, keep working. Uh, okay, enjoy the farm. <laughs> You're kind of hard to ignore. I hope she doesn't take that in a mean way. Uh, okay. In that case, I guess I'll head back to the inn. No, no, I didn't mean it poorly. I'm never gonna see her again. <laughs> I, I just meant that she's like so cute and so beautiful and and I want to get to know her. So how could I ignore her? But I don't think she took it that way. <laughs> oh, nailed it. <laughs> OK, um, I was checking the, the profit on the soup. Okay, so one aromatic herb sells for 35. The soup sells for, ooh, 20. Okay, all right, glad I didn't make a bunch of those. Gross. So let's, um, let's start by going to experience this cutscene. Oh, is it another Nami one? Oh, I think this is a rival cutscene. Nami and Gustafa. Hey there, friend. How's life treating you? You think Gustavo will be able to sweet talk Nami better than I did? <laughs> the rule in Riverside is real peaceful, yeah? You picked a good spot to hang out. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. You want something from me? Hurry and get to the point. Oh man. Someone ruffle your feathers? <laughs> Who would do that? I wouldn't say that. Your face is looking a little red there. Maybe you got a fever? Ugh, come on, lay off already. I like how I'm just like awkwardly like standing back there. <sighs> I'm leaving. Hey, Nami.
Take it easy, all right? Oh, he is good. Apples, why didn't I think of that? To be fair, I don't have any apples, but. <laughs> that was so cute and so wholesome. We have any new flowers over here? We do. I think these might be the same one that we picked up in the other area, but we'll take some more. Okay, oh, got a couple more over here. Oh. Hey kid, I brought out you a new animal. Come over. I only had one flower left. <laughs> We have a pink sheepy! Say hello to the newest member of your livestock family. Oh, and you may as well give it a name while you're at it. All right, guys. I need your assistance again, please. Um, for anybody who would like to name our first sheep in the game, let me know what you think. What should be the name of our first pink little sheep? Oh, candy it is. Guys, thank you so much for voting in our poll. I really appreciate you, friends. And um, Umbra, thank you so much for suggesting the name Candy to us. Candy is the winner. <clears throat> thank you guys again, everybody. All right. Candy, here we go. Candy, good choice. Take good care of this one, all right? Will do. Meh. <laughs> oh, and you're probably gonna need these for clipping wool. There we go. I was wondering where we gonna we were gonna get shears from. Look, I think you were the one that mentioned to me. Don't worry about the shears. Thank you for letting me know. I was very concerned. Anyway, that's it for me. See you around, kid. I probably would have waited like forever just to see like where I could buy the shears from if Van would sell them at some point. So I'm glad I didn't wait. <laughs> All right, um, so is Candy out here? Candy is not out here, so let's, I guess we'll put them in the barn first and then we'll call them back out to get them both out. I didn't want you to never get one waiting for it. Thank you so much for looking out for me. Look at little Candy over here. What a good boy you are, yes. Candy's pretty energetic. We'll give Candy some love and um, also some some brushes. I don't think it's its hair is grown in enough to, to shear it right now. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, all right. So let's put that away. Precious Matt. <laughs> love him. <laughs> He's so cute. Well, this is the best purchase I've ever made. Um, ooh, are there some more flowers down there that I can get? Let's go get those before I go back and get the other ones. And still need to get 10 more, um, these are like tulips here. 10 more melon seeds too. Just love like all the atmospheric sounds. They like just stayed so true to the original game and I love it. Hi Gordy, nice to see you. Yo, how are you? The carpaccio from the other day tasted amazing, by the way. Cooking's a tough art to master. I've got nothing but respect for your skills. Okay. So we have found, finally, a favorite dish for Gordy, and it's carpaccio. I think carpaccio um, was just like a fish. Maybe? I'll have to look again. Um, no, I think I'm thinking of something else. I, I need to check. I can't remember. Gordy. Carpaccio. I do kind of want to try um, the, the um, milky soup on him too. But also the milky soup is like really nice. Um, to sell, so you get some good profit from that. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to see. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick this last these last flowers over here. I'm gonna buy some melon seeds, 
then we'll go back to the house and um, see a, about planting them in uh, the Carpaccio situation. Then probably also, um, well, there was something else that I was thinking of doing. I can't remember what it was now. Oh yeah, milk uh, Bessie. So we probably will have time for a second milking. I finally gave in and put a request up on the bulletin board. Thank you for the reminder. Completely forgot to look at that today. Been a while since I used it. Oh, um, I'm not saying you have to take on my request. Just, you know, making conversation. <laughs> I just like how, like, socially awkward he is. Like, I, you know, I think he's, uh, you know, he tries to um, converse and talk. And I think, you know, he does a good job at trying. But sometimes, like, you know, he's... He's like, oh, oh, I actually didn't mean that, you know? And I think that's super cute. Um, I, I've never tried giving him egg soup. Let's try that. Hey, did you uh, make that for me? I did. Uh, oh, wow. I mean, thanks. Sweet. Glad we finally found someone that likes my egg soup. Oh, I should have said yes to shopping. I'm just like so used to saying no. All right, so I would like 10 more of these. 600 G. It'll bring us almost exactly to 2000. 2034, good year, good year. All right, so we are gonna head, I was about to say we're gonna head back home now. Let me see if Vesta or, oh, Cecilia are here. Hi. <laughs> I made a little wish to the crops. I asked them to grow big and healthy for us. That aside, did you want to purchase anything? And no, thank you, but I would like to give you something. Let's try giving her that new flower, the Mist Moon flower. Oh, why that's so delightful. How lucky you are. It's all yours. I don't think, like so far with the flowers that I've given her, she hasn't responded like, um, like over the moon about them, but and yet her friendship is still the furthest along. So yeah. Hi Pooey, nice to see you. Greetings and hello. A trip to the wondrous Cocoa Island is my goal, but no money is a thing. Can you spare some jingle jangle, friend? Um, last time we gave him um, one G. We got like a little bit more this time. Let's Let's give him 50 G this time. Wade is a generous friend. Yes, yes. May your friendship never end. How generous. How very, very generous. Many thanks. I hope you'll come back again. Coco Island is so close and yet so very far away. Aww. Um, let's also give him a gift to... Oh, what is that you're holding? Uh, I honestly don't know. Oh, it's chicken feed. <laughs> I think I've tried giving him this fish before... Um, I'm not sure if I've tried giving him milky soup. Let me, let me just give this to him. Looks very scrumptious. Yes, very scrumptious indeed. He wouldn't, maybe he can't take anything while he's sitting down. What about the herbal soup? Is that an item for Pooey? It is, help yourself. You have made your friend very happy. Many thanks. We'll see if he likes the herbal soup. <clears throat> I always give Pooey 100 G. He's so adorable. Mac, that's so generous of you, friend. Yeah, once we're uh, rolling in the dough a little bit more and have some more uh, change to spare, I definitely would oh. like to start giving him some 100 G too. Hello. Hmm. Uh, it's just roasting out. Still better than being stuck in the city, though. Oh. Why, hello there. Goodness gracious, it is hot out, though the heat in Forgotten Valley is much better than in other places. Um, let's try giving Nina this happy lamp flower. My, that sure is nice. Yes, I am giving it to you. I hope oh. you like it. That's very nice of you. No worries. I can't remember what Gary likes. I don't think he likes flowers. What? That's some kind of local plant. Mm hmm it is. Um... Let me, let me try giving him a milky soup. Hmm. That sure looks tasty. What, it's for me? It most certainly is. Oh. Thanks a bunch. Wonder how good it is. I'm all a flutter just thinking about it. 
no worries. All right, let's um oh let's go check the bulletin board real quick. Turnip wanted. I'm tired of only eating our farm's crops. Sorry, Vesta. Would rather try someone else's homegrown turnips. I should have bought a turnip seed today. But you only get um, some normal milk in return, and only two of them. That's honestly really bad. Um. Please let me know if anyone has any quick pickles to spare. Aunt Romana says they're quite good, so I'd like them. So for the quick pickles, I think we need like, like an onion or something like that. See, I definitely should have bought like some other um, seeds today. I wonder how long until like our other stuff that's growing is gonna be ready. Like I do have like some spots over here, but I'm kind of trying to keep them open for trees. And I should have bought some more tree seeds today. Oh, forgot about that too. Goodness gracious. Well, it looks like these tomatoes will almost be ready. So we'll probably buy some um, turnip seeds and stuff like that then. Okay, Um, before I do this, let me go and milk Bessie. Oh, you're not ready. Okay, never mind. Hey, Aileen, so nice to see you. How have you been doing? I hope that you're having a really nice day. Welcome, welcome in, friend. Thanks for brightening my day. I really appreciate you. I think you just got uh, our number two spot on the Biddy leaderboard for this month. How you doing? <clears throat> okay, um... We need these. So we'll... I need to do the um, throw seed thing. Oh, it even shows you where they're gonna go. Oh, that's so nice. I think I just like released it too fast before and I didn't like realize that it did that. It's wonderful. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it back to buy those tree seeds today, sadly. They're probably like closed up shop for today anyway, possibly. Um, what I do need to do is, is some more watering now. These are looking pretty dry. Thankfully, we have a bunch of stamina. Gary likes scaled things. I'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe we can do some fishing this evening. I, I wanted to anyway, since the new season, and I imagine we'd probably be able to catch some new stuff. I love the way the sheep look when it's time to shear them. Uh, they're so adorable. I bet they're going to be fluffy. I'm excited for it. Will I have enough stamina to water all of these? I was thinking that I would, but it's going to be close. Let's see. If I remember right, in the original game, I want to say that you could get like an upgraded watering can like at some point. So I'm hoping that'll be the case here too. Or just have some sprinklers, that would be very nice. Oh, I don't think we have enough stamina. Um, what can I eat? I just want to have like one of my milky soups. I hate to eat my milky soup. Um, but yeah, let's let's eat a milky soup. All right, and then we'll switch back over to this. Hopefully, that milky soup will be enough. I don't know. Now I'm questioning things. I don't think it will be. Oh, no, it definitely will not be. Okay, all right. Another milky soup coming right up. Oh, you're so close. Um, for this. Am I gonna need another one? All right, I'm not eating another milky soup, but maybe I'll eat some herbs. <laughs> I don't think the the 
the herb. Oh gosh, that didn't feel it like at all. Maybe I should have just eaten the milky soup. <laughs> um, I don't think the herb soup sold for a whole lot. Sam was getting real close there. <laughs> All right, okay, we'll put you away and um, hmm. let's put up our animals after I try to milk Bessie one more time. There we go, awesome. Okay, all right. Well, I guess that's all of my stamina. Wait, what just happened? Did I just like pass out for a few hours? <sighs> it's after midnight now. I think that's what happened. If you lose all of your stamina, you pass out for a few hours. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, all right, let's um let our chickies in too. I didn't think that milking would use up stamina, but um, noted, it it does. Oh, and the blue feather. I didn't know if it would be uh, left in there. Oh, wow. Okay, let's um, just put the blue feather in here for now. I'm gonna put the fertilizer in there too. I do intend to use that, I, but yeah, I'm just holding on to it. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's go inside and we'll get some sleep. And then I think we'll do one more in-game day. I'm glad we made it into summertime though. All right, get some sleepies. All right, day two of summer. Let's go and uh, see what's ahead of us. I think we'll let out our critters because it seems like it's gonna be a nice day. But I probably should go inside and make sure that their um, trowels are filled too. Or when they do go back inside, don't want anybody being hungry. Bessie's doing fine. We'll give her, her booty a snuggle there. Love the booty snuggles. And we'll give her some brushes too. We'll milk her. Oh, no, not ready yet. I didn't think what time we milked her last night before we passed out. <laughs> Let's uh, give some brushes to Candy here. We'll talk to Candy and give Candy a snuggle too. All right. Then let's go inside. And oh yeah, all of their trowels are empty. So let's take three. So it looks like looks like the sheep only has one spot. So I think it said like the sheep eat once a day, but like the cows eat twice a day. Something like that. Something like that. Let's see how the uh, birds are doing on bird feed too. If there are any um, eggs in here, it looks like it's not. And looks like their bird feed is, is good for now. Hello, Precious. How you doing, Rob? Rob the rooster. And where is Sunny? I don't see Sunny anywhere. Uh, Sunny, where are you? Oh, wait. No, that's still Rob. <laughs> where did where did Sunny go? Sunny is apparently out here somewhere. I think Sunny ran away. Wait, how did Sunny get in the pen? Sunny, what are you doing over here? <laughs> are they supposed to be able to get in here? I don't know how that happened. It's funny. Oh, all right. Um, let's put that away. And can I harvest any of my trees now? They look pretty plump and juicy. Oh, we can. We can get some fruit. It's 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 yellow. Oh, there we go. How much can I shake it? Can I just shake it until all of them come out? Give me all of your juicy peaches. Yes. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Stop, stop clicking. Let me just, let me just turn my camera. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Oh. 
Sunny's an escape artist, right? Technically, she made herself like a little more like enclosed there. Are there any more on the other side? Um, I think we might have gotten all of the full-grown oranges. And we can get some bananas today, too. Very nice. So, what I definitely want to do today is go back to Vesta's farm. And see, um, about maybe getting some more, uh, tree seeds. All right, have we gotten all of the fully grown bananas now? Hmm, I think so. Maybe that one up there? No, no, it's, it's blue now. Okay, all right, cool, cool. So we have a bunch of fruit now, and I kind of want to see if we can make anything with those. I feel like our tomatoes are going to be ready soon, possibly later today. They, the chickens can hop the fence. That's funny. <laughs> Make my recipe. Mm, I probably should make some more carpaccio because we found out that Gordy likes that. And it's a fish and an herb. I have one fish left. I guess we'll go ahead and turn that into a carpaccio. Okie dokie, let's um, put that away. Yeah, I keep saying I need to do some more fishing, but time just goes by so quickly in the days in this game. Oh, um, let me go back in. I only looked at the like the salad category, I think. There might be some other ones that have um, fruit dishes. Herbal soup, milky soup, egg soup. We've made all of those. The stew is, is new. Two uh, vegetables and a milk. Okay, all right, good to know. Um, oh, I just looked at soup, Never mind. Hors d'oeuvres, mystery one there that I still can't make. Uh, and then all we have for entrees is the curry. So yeah, it doesn't look like we really have any um, fruit-based ones. I know I had like some kind of fruit-based recipe. I think it was this one. But I'm, I'm, yeah, I guess I don't have a vegetable on me right now to make that. Mm. Okay, um, well, let's go see about, I guess we'll go to the Sprite first. See about, um, getting a new recipe, because I don't think we've done that yet today. It's 10 o'clock, but I don't remember going up here. The days are starting to run together. <laughs> This will be our seventh in-game day today. Hmm? The meal your kindness gave me was very delicious. Yes, very. I wish he would tell me, like, what I gave him. <sighs> Did I give him the, the milky soup? Spreadsheet time. So right now I've just got like some notes on my phone whenever I come across like a new one. But a spreadsheet would probably be more efficient. I should probably do that. So Buck, you don't think it was the milky suit? I need to like write down like two like what I give them. So then I know, I'm like, okay, it was this. Mm, oh, Wonderland, a wasp got into your room? Oh gosh, that'd be terrifying. Let me teach you something. What kind of recipe do we have? Pickled veggies. Was kind of hoping we would get some kind of fruit recipe since we got so much today. It looks like the egg soup, or did you give 
I'm pretty sure we gave the egg soup. We gave the egg soup to Matthew. And we only have one of those. So I know it wasn't that. I think the only other uh, dish that I had, I think, was, was the... I, I think it was the, the milk soup. I see you're a morning person. You would be right. Oh, oh, uh, she said about the milky soup, but we already knew that she liked milky soup, right? Yeah, I do have milky soup on my list for, for Nami. Um, shall I give her another one? If I have more, I have one more. All right, all yours, baby girl. Huh? Hey, Jim, nice to see you. How are you? How's this game? Uh, now that you've played it some more, it's just been like so nice and nostalgic. Um, we have started up a new season today. We're in summertime now. So yeah, just um, growing like some new crops and having some new experience with the experiences with the characters. It's just been super cute, super cute. How have you been doing? Hope you've had a great day. Hi, Vesta. I've come to say hello. Or attempt to. There we go. Hey! And Vesta likes flowers, so we actually will buy something from her first. Um, so I have an apple tree. I have a banana tree. I have orange and peach. Wait a minute. Are there only five tree seeds? Oh, that kind of pains me inside. Cause like, there's like, if there were six tree seeds, then I would have like the perfect amount to like plant. Um, I would have the perfect amount to, to plant, um, what you may call it, um, you know, six different ones in like one pot but yeah <laughs> um hmm. would it still be good for someone who's never played old harvest moon games like does it still hold up with uh with the nostalgia factor that's definitely a good question i'd say jim it really like depends on like what you prioritize in games. Um, so like, I'd say with like this particular game, the like the gameplay factor um, doesn't hold up like as much compared to some other Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, farming sims in general. Um, but this one is much heavier emphasized on the the story and the character building um and like the relationship building and um and just seeing people age and change over time so if you if um well-written stories and um seeing characters develop and that kind of deal is um really important to you in in games then i would say this is absolutely the one for you if you are looking for a a new farming sim with like a bunch of stuff to do that you could play infinitely, then I would probably say not. Uh, so people grow up, yeah, yeah, they do. And that's like something that I've always loved about this one. It's very unique. Um, the original game spanned over like a six year uh, period of time. And each year you get to see um, the character's age. Um, people have kids people pass on and yeah it's really beautiful really beautiful in that regard that you can buy there are many trees buck do you mean like there are like tree seeds i could get like elsewhere or what do you mean so yeah the only one i'm missing right now is the grape seed starts flowering in summer and fruiting in autumn i do want to get that um yeah, let's let's get one of you. Umbra, thanks so much for hanging out with us this morning for you. It was really good to see you. Uh, going to take my son uh, to see his nan. I hope that you guys have a good and safe time. We'll see you later, man. 
And since we've got enough room for like one more tree, I guess I'll just get another uh, banana tree, I guess. I, I kind of hate it because I don't think it's going to be fully grown like this year. Um, but at least we'll have it for, for next year, I guess. Oh, there's a hybrid mechanic in the game. You can combine plants and make new ones. Or at least that was the way in the old games. Oh. I guess I might as well just buy like a, a seed that like is going to grow this year. So I have like some kind of, can make some kind of profit off of it as opposed to it just like growing and sitting there. Um, so if we plant another apple seed, that'll be ready next season. The grape too. I feel like it, we either need to do another grape or an apple. And I think I'm going to do the grape since that's like a little spendier. I'm, I'm assuming that the profit for that one will be a little higher too. Hopefully so. Okay. All right. Two grape seeds, if you please. Thank you. He's like, didn't you just buy a grape tree? <laughs> um, all done shopping for now. Thank you. And we will uh, go ahead and give you a flower too. Let's give her one of these. I don't think we've given her a happy lamp before. I imagine they have it in this because the index for your crops has, oh, tons of spots for plants. Good observation there. I don't think I've like even looked at that. Is it in here or would I need to go back to the house for it? And yeah, as soon as we have some some open spots in our other, um, what do you call it, field, we'll get some stuff to potentially make these two thingamabobs. Um, expenses, income, barn. I'm not sure where that would be, the, uh, the index that you mentioned. Is anybody inside here? Oh, it's in Takakura's notes. Gotcha. Thank you. Is she supposed to be a mean character? Um, oh, you mean uh, like Vesta? No, no. Vesta's really nice. She's super sweet. I love her. Hi, Cecilia. Nice to see you again. I feel like this is how our last cutscene went with her. <laughs> her just walking out and then we got her in trouble. That was unfortunate. Oh, hi, Wade. It's good to see you. Oh, and your timing is perfect too. The weather's lovely right now, so I thought I'd head over to my usual place. Would you like to join me? Um, I'd love to. Hey, I'm so glad. This will be much more fun with you around. Oh look, the sunlight is reflecting off the water in the spring. It's sparkling like a big beautiful gem. Oh, there's some more of those colored mushrooms over in that tree corner. I don't think I spotted those before. <sighs> oh, not again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm having a wonderful time. A wonderful life, if you will. And yet, I can't stop sighing today. Uh, is something on your mind? You see, Vesta wants to set up an arranged marriage for me. Vesta! How dare! To be honest, I hate the idea. I'd much rather find someone I care deeply about on my own and be together with them. I just love her. Still, I can't just let Vesta take care of me forever. She's been nothing but kind to me, and I know she means well. Um, you need to turn this down. <laughs> It's not that I don't want to get married, but there's no one special like that in my life right now, either. Uh, this must be difficult for you to listen to. I'm sorry, I should head home. Cecilia, wait. <laughs> An arranged marriage, but we're right here, right? <laughs> I wonder um, what our relationship with Cecilia is looking like now. Because last time I looked, we were at like six hearts with her. Yeah, we're still at six hearts. Okay, all right. But she's digging us. I think, I'm assuming. <laughs> all right, so we will now, I guess... Um, will I actually get to fish today? 
I haven't done any like digging at the, the mine in a while either, but I think I really do want to fish because I haven't uh, this season at all. But yeah, let's um, maybe we'll go down to the beach and hey, there's Gordy down there. So it'll work out perfectly. I did make another carpaccio for him too. Boop, 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 boop. Have to look and see what his uh, relationship is like after we give this to him too. I think he was at two hearts before. I hate it when he does that with his neck. It just like looks so painful. <laughs> He's not gonna take any gift I give him right now with his arms crossed, but now he doesn't. Did you cook that? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Can I, can I have that? I was wondering why he wouldn't accept it at first. So I was like, yesterday you told me that this is your favorite. So note to self, if they decline it at first, it, it might not be because they dislike it. Maybe they're just being difficult. <laughs> Gordy is still at two hearts. Okay, all right. Still no change on like the friendship thing. Still have no idea why that doesn't seem like it's moving at all. All right, so, um, hmm, yeah, let's, let's fish before I get distracted and decide to do something else, which I will. I mean, I guess I could always, like, fish, like, tonight, too. We could continue giving gifts out to people. Like, that, that's an idea. <laughs> oh, and I'm glad that we did, because cutscene. Oh, Rock and Lumina. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be like that. We're friends, right? Maybe? Look, just hang out with me once. Once. You'll have a blast, I promise. For real? Man, she's missing out. I always bring the fun. Well, whatever. Her loss. But who am I supposed to hang out with now? Yo, how's it going? Today's your lucky day. I was just about to go have some fun. And what's more fun than kicking it with a buddy? Wink, wink. <laughs> Hope you find one. <laughs> oh, you sure do have a lot of free time. F free time? Me? Never. Come on. Do I look like a guy with a lot of free time to you? Well, since you asked. You look like a guy who's in my way. Wow, we're fe we're feeling really uh, saucy today. Um, I feel like both of these answers are very, very saucy. <laughs> um, I'll say this because I I feel like it's maybe slightly re less rude than the first one. Well, there ain't a lot to do here, right? I thought I could take some time out of my, ahem, busy schedule and teach you some stuff about the valley. Hey, what's with that face? We haven't gotten to really hang out, you know? May as well take this opportunity to become buds, right? Bud? One problem, though. I don't have any cash on me. Or, like, any money? At all? So, that kind of limits our options. <laughs> oh, I know. Want to see something cool? Yeah, right now. Come on, follow me. What the? What happened here? Turtle! This poor innocent creature is dead. I don't... I don't think it is, Rock. Only a kid be, could be cruel enough to do this. Ugh, you ever hear the story about the tortoise and the hare? I bet that's what happened here. This turtle was having a race, all slow and steady, but then some punk kid wasted him right before the finish line. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Wait, no. The turtality. We could have saved the poor thing if we'd just been a little faster, ironically. <laughs> Man, what sort of kid would do this? Wait a sec. There's only one kid in the valley, and that's Hugh. He's like, me? <laughs> he may look innocent, 
but that kid's a flippin' menace. Can't believe I even live in the same valley as that little rock. Don't say that about my friend Hugh. He's so cute. Kids these days think they can act all cute and get away with whatever. I'm telling you, this world's going to heck. Huh? I, what I genuinely would like to know is like, is anyone like actually going for rock? <laughs> If you travel to the city, they sell all sorts of rare foods you can try. Like shaved ice pal- yeah, with honey. Tasty. Um, mm hmm. What can I try to give them? I think, um, oh, I didn't mean to go in here. That's what I think. Oh, wait, where did he go? No answer. I saw him walk up the stairs. <laughs> where did he, where did he go? What? I I don't know where your husband went. He like Thanos. What could I give you? I really don't have like a whole lot of like gifts right now. And I need to oh, I need to plant those um grape trees too. Um yeah, I was wanting to give you a gift, um, Lou, but I really don't have a whole lot right now. But I will say hello to you. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome to kick up, kick up your heels here for a bit. Ain't much, but it's home. Go in and make yourself comfortable. What our, what's ours is yours. She's so sweet. Love her. All right, so before I forget again, let me go and plant those grape trees. And I keep like putting off um, getting fishies. I feel like if I get some fish, it'll probably be like some good gifts for people. Okay, so, um, let me get Maho, and we'll till here, and then till there, and we will go back to our seeds, plant you here, and plant you here. So glad, like, you don't have to, like, water the trees, like, that's super nice. Hmm, I was also looking at the time. Still might, I think it's gonna be like a little bit too early to milk Bessie again. So maybe what we'll do is go over here and do a little bit of fishing and then maybe we can um, milk her afterward. Arrest that kid. How could you arrest that innocent face? He's so precious. This dialogue is something else, right? Rock, just go stand in the corner. <laughs> Rock is on the way bottom of the list. Like, if he wasn't before, like, after that conversation, I'd say he definitely was. I gotta get some sleep. Thanks for the stream, Wade. Rob, it was good to see you. Oh, Rob, if you're still here, before you go to sleep. Hang on, hold up. I got something to show you. Large Wakasaki. Okay, it wasn't that that I wanted to show you, but, um... Oh, I think my tomatoes are ready too. There's our... Hang on, hold up. My, my chickens are escape artists. Oh, hey, there's another like little mushroom back here. Um, I'm looking for my rooster. I was, I was trying to, I'm just trying to find my rooster, y'all. You know what, it's almost nighttime. Let me, let me just bring them into the coop. <laughs> That's one way to find the rooster. Were they along the fence? Oh my gosh. Rob, I don't know if you're still here, but um, we have, we have a, we have a rooster here. And um, his name is Rob, Rob, Rob is doing fine. That's all I wanted to show you. Be free. Have a good night. <laughs> oh. 
Mm, sorry, wait, I'm just an officer of the law. Uh, I don't ask questions, you're just doing your job. I get it, I get it. It's totally understand. I wonder if we can milk Bessie again now. Let me try. Meh. Oh, we can. I'm glad we came back. Awesome. Thank you for the milk, Bessie. You're the best. Appreciate you. Alright, so I got one new fishy. Look at uh, Gordy and Pooey talking over there. Aren't they precious? So cute. <laughs> All right, um, what I was thinking of doing was, oh, we'll talk to Daryl, because I haven't seen him in a while. Daryl, here we go. Oh, hello. I've got to come up with something. Hmm. Come on, brain, think. I think Daryl accepted, like, food previously. I just don't have a whole lot of food on me. So, yeah, I need to, need to get some of that soon. Need to make some more milky soup. We have gotten some more milk. I'm like over here, like going up to um, Romana's village because I feel like I don't go up there too often. But I don't know if I have like a whole lot of gifts for them either. I do think that Lumina likes flowers, but I can't remember with uh, Romana and Sebastian. Oh, is something the matter? Uh, I'm just here to chat. Good evening. When I wander around the valley, I tend to cross paths with a wild animal or two. Oh, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Oh, um, I just was coming to give this to you. Simply love what you have there. This is for you. <laughs> hope that you enjoy it. I don't think these are her favorite either, but yeah. Talk to Romana oh. while she's waiting. Pardon me, but I must hurry home and get some good food in me. I'm starving. These blistering hot days just have not let up. This is nothing compared to what they deal with in the city, though. Oh, don't leave, don't leave. Let me try to give you a flower, too. Oh. Gracious, is that for me? You bet. <laughs> I'll treasure it always. She's so cute. Love her. Wish she was our granny. But yeah, I totally did not even see the rooster. I think uh, Rob went, went to bed before uh, before we could show it to him, sadly. We'll show it to him next time. <laughs> oh, Hugh, are you okay? It looked like he was crying there. Did that mean man rock say something to you? I love to cool off by standing near the waterfall. It totally looks like he's crying. <laughs> Just want to give him a hug? You okay, little guy? <laughs> Can I give him something? Do you? I don't think he likes flowers. That's a pretty flower. Well, it, it made him smile at least, so that's something. Um, yeah, I've yet to really figure out anything that he would like. Clay figurine, perhaps? Did you dig that up near the waterfall? I did. I can see that you're not too crazy about it, though. <laughs> I wonder if I could, like, maybe give it to, to, to Lou or this fossil? Uh, what you got there? Nope. I tried. What about to Gary? Oh, Hello? Gosh. What in tarnation is that? Nope. <laughs> Nobody likes my fossil. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, we will, I think, fish for the rest of the evening. I'm, I'm blanking on, oh, what's his name down here? I think his name was Wally in the first game. Oh, another cutscene, wow. Oh, this one looks so pretty. Oh, the twins. I don't see enough of them. Good to see you, Wade. We're about to set off some fireworks, just in time for summer. This batch ain't our finest, mind you, but they're worth watching. You might as well stay and take a gander for yourself. Don't mind if I do. You guys ready for some fireworks? Well now, since it's a festival and all, you know what that means, right? Ugh, whippersnappers today. No brains, I tell ya. Oof. It's your chance to ask someone out on a date, see? You better not let it go zooming by. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now's the time to cozy up to that special someone you got your eye on. 
Oh man, did we actually get to choose? Oh wow. Okay, well, um, I have been trying to pursue Gordy. <laughs> Yo, wait, I wonder what kind of fireworks we'll see tonight. What are the odds, Gordy? <laughs> um, wanna watch them together? I don't remember, like, this whole cutscene being a thing in the original game, was it? Oh, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Oh, hooray for love. Charlie and Cole are some good wingmen, aren't they? Oh, everybody's getting to see them. Aww. Oh, even the little sprites. Okay, folks, show's about to start. Keep your eyes on the skies. Aww. Fireworks never last long, do they? Still, I'm glad I got to see them. Uh, Charlie and Cole are crazy talented, and I'm glad I got to see them with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we go home? It's getting late. Good night, Wade. My heart. Oh. If we didn't get a relationship increase from that cutscene, I don't even know. I give up. <laughs> He's at three hearts, good. I don't think his slider smiley face thing changed at all. Still don't know what the deal with that is, but he has three hearts. This is good, this is great, awesome. It's already 11 o'clock too, oh man. I was uh, going to like come here and do some, some fishing, but I do try to get to bed before midnight. We have a bunch of stamina though, so I don't think we'll like really be like missing out for tomorrow if I go to sleep like a little bit later. So let's try to get like at least one fish. So I intended to do more today and I think we got like one fish. So much to do. So much to do, so much to see. Well, did we finally get a biter? There we go. Oh, 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 that's a difficult one. A large scad. Okay, all right. So same type of fish that we were able to get last season. So maybe it's not new ones? Hard to say. Uh, hi, Kirsten. Thanks so much for the follow. And um, Krynetic, I'm sorry that I missed yours earlier too. Also, Penny, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the follows, guys. So glad to have you here. I've just been so in the story of season zone. Hey now, you're you're a rock star. Uh, get your game on. I think we already put the chickens in the coop, so we should be good there. All right, and we planted those other great trees today, so we're good on that. We didn't um, pick our tomatoes though, so let's take those. Okay, all right. So maybe tomorrow we can buy like five more crops and maybe they can be like those onions or, um, or uh, turnips, whatever we can get for those requests. Yeah, go play, I, I agree, I agree. 
<laughs> Alright, let's sleep. In regards to the going and playing, though, I think we've done about as much uh, playing as we can for today. So I am going to write in my journal and we are going to see about starting to wrap up the stuff. So next time we will be starting up day three of summer. And um, yeah, it seems like we're making some good progress. Super excited to continue it tomorrow, guys. I hope that you'll uh, continue to go on this journey with me. It's been quite beautiful so far. I'd like to save these last few moments to say some really special thank yous to my tier three and tier two YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Bolt, Missionanigans95, Alpha Leonis82, Mr. Dad, Vicarious Nick, and Good Morning Dreamer. Becoming a YouTube member or Twitch subscriber is a really fantastic way to support my channel and is what allows me to continue creating content for you guys. So if you'd like to be mentioned at the end of each video, make sure to join today at one of those tiers. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.